Hey guys, welcome. Let me know whenever you can see me. Hopefully you can hear me too. I don't know why my mic stand was like about to collapse right before I started. So hopefully it's good now. I'm like taking a look at it. I'm like, you good? You good screw <laughs> that doesn't want to stay attached? But uh, yeah, welcome guys. Sorry, I forgot to make an intro meme today, but I have some pretty art to feature. So uh, yeah, some nice art of Ace. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to feature Ace because I keep seeing so many like tier lists and people have been putting Ace on the bottom, which I love Ace. Okay, he's kind of a shithead, but I love him. Also, it probably is partially the Australian <laughs> voice I gave him. I just love it so much. But yeah, this art is by Curry White. Cur Curu Yeah, yeah, I think so. Curu Curu Cur Curu <laughs> I'm probably butchering your name. I'm sorry. I apologize. But uh yeah, and then also this nice drawing of uh who who. But uh this is by Raven Kuroi Tori 69. I also saw their uh they made some Ace Attorney art too, which I'll probably feature next week. But yeah, I was like, "Ah, oh, look, she looks so nice. Some good uh some good, you know, representation for her too. And then Taruko. Oh God, because I just love Taruko. My wife, my queen, my everything. Ah, uh, she's so sassy, man. My downward spiral started when I was like six. Ah, oh, she's so relatable too. We love to see it. We love to see it. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, I yeah, today we're gonna be doing the bonus episodes. So there's like two bonus episodes, a chapter two preview, and then free time events. There's also this like fan made music video, but I'm pretty sure that's got like copyrighted music in it. So I don't think we'll be able to cover that one. But uh, yeah, we can do this other stuff. Uh, do you guys have a preference on if we do the bonus episodes first or the free time events first? I guess you guys can just let me uh, let me know. Otherwise, I'll probably just do it in order of release. I don't know if it matters too much, but you know. <laughs> you know, just for continuity's sake. Never seen a, a who in chat. She needs, honestly, she does need more appreciation as well. I feel like, well, Ace gets talked about a lot, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I was just so sad. I was like, everybody hates him. They're all putting him at the bottom of their tier list. <laughs> I love him, okay? Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, should I do... Oh my god, should maybe I maybe I should do a poll so we can uh in order would be best, preview maybe, bonus episodes, bonus, free time, free time, free time, bonus, bonus, bonus. What did my mods say? Do they say anything? I should ask you guys before I start it. Oh gosh. For the bonus, uh, maybe I could do a poll and see uh what everybody says. Okay, let's just do a poll. Ew. Oh, wait. Um, do to do, do. Which should I do first? Okay. I'm sorry if I have a typo. You guys know me because <laughs> I. Oh man, most episodes might have a bit more, a bit of lore behind them, but free time events are pure fun. Okay, nice. Yeah, we can just kind of uh, see what everybody else wants to do first. It's probably going to be, I was like, it looked basically tied in the, uh, in the chat, but uh, okay, it seems like bonus episodes are winning first. It's like, it might be kind of good because it seems like the bonus episodes might be more serious and then like the free time events are going to be more goofy. So it might be good to start with something a little bit more or like start with something deeper and then kind of chill out you know, towards the end of the stream. And then at the end, yeah, we can watch the preview for chapter two, which I'm so freaking excited for. Okay, that's probably... Pool's probably good. Okay, cool. We can start then. And let me know if the um, music... It's too loud once this starts or too quiet. I think it's probably about the same for this as it is for Ace Attorney, but we can uh we can see. Okay. Spoilers for chapter one. Yeah, I was kinda wondering if they were gonna give like a uh, more um what's the word? Characterization for like men. I mean, we already already feel like I kinda got to know her pretty well from uh oh literally <laughs> oh my god she's got such a pretty text box too slay queen okay she already did it guys it's okay for me to say it now okay it's okay oh bonus episodes are fully voiced too nice okay that 
In that case, let me turn up the volume then. Hey. Hey. Are you seriously zoning out again? Come on, pay attention. There Eyes on me. Jeez, and you're the one who asked me to help you study for this test. Uh -huh. oh, oh, sorry. I was just distracted looking at the sky. Look, it's really pretty. <laughs> Stop wasting my time. I'm not here to watch you look at clouds all day. Sorry, sorry. I'll pay attention. Since you're not taking this seriously yet, <laughs> so how about I quiz you? Okay, yeah, it seems like it's kind now? of... Uh... It seems like it's kind of from, I guess, like before she got her memories erased. What does it say back here? Oh, A-Y. Does that say slay on the board? Oh my god, that's the lore of when she decided to slay. I fucking knew it to be true. Okay, I think the... Everything looks uh, good too, I think. Or it sounds good, right guys? I think I think it should be good based off of what I can see on my screen. Yet, how about I quiz you? A quiz? Now? But I'm not ready! That's okay. Simply trying to recall information will help you memorize this topic better. Try your best, okay? Then I can help you with the topics you need to work more on. Besides, the test topic is the history of Hope Speak oh, Academy. You can't be completely ignorant. <laughs> Fucking Hope Speak Academy. Oh, God. <laughs> You're so disciplined and smart. I wish I was like you. It's like her girlfriend or something. <laughs> Oh my god, her girlfriend before the killing game. It's like flirting so hard. You're so disciplined and smart, man. God, I wish I was as pretty and as talented and amazing as you. Question one. How did Hope's Peak get introduced to the US? Well, um... Hey, put your textbook away. Don't cheat. Ah! Mm. Just think, okay? Take your time. I think... I feel like this probably is a different... Like a person in the killing game too, the unma unnamed unmained unnamed classmate. I'm trying to think of who the voice kind of sounds like though. Like, huh. I guess I'll just keep listening. The original Hope's Peak always had international acclaim, right? Since they would take foreign students every once in a while, people outside of Japan did know what it was. Okay, it's also my same REA. I could see that too. I feel like maybe, yeah. Uh... But it wasn't super big internationally until after the tragedy. Correct. She seems too nice to be REA, though. <laughs> Honestly. Keep going. What about the tragedy? Uh, <laughs> it was bad. A lot of people died. And everything got super messed up. Or something. So true, Bestie. It's getting colder. <laughs> um... There were a lot of bears for some reason. It was like the saddest, most awful, most worst event in human history or some shit. I don't know, something like that. Can you tell me how this relates to Hope's Peak Academy? Oh, right. Hope's Peak. Yeah, I totally forgot. Did you seriously forget what you're studying for that quickly? Uh-huh. Okay. Let's see. When it was over, Japan rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy. The ultimates, back then called super high school level students, Not old names. who graduated from that new school, helped to rebuild the world exactly as it was before the tragedy happened. As everyone had hoped, the world had ultimately changed so little that it was like we could forget the tragedy ever happened. So this takes place like way in the future, it seems like. Because, uh, yeah, it's like the, they already built up like an Aegean in them, built up the world exactly as it was before the tragedy happened. It's like, that would have to take a while, wouldn't it? So I'm like, huh, interesting. How far into the future are we then? We as it was before the tragedy happened. It's kind of interesting because this like all seemed like so much more connected to like V3. I guess granted some people don't really know if V3 like technically fits into the lore of the first game. I don't know. People don't know if Samugi was lying at the end of V3 or not, but uh, I don't know, it's just kind of interesting. I wonder, I wonder, I don't know. I guess, uh, I kind of wonder if V3 did happen in this universe or not, or if they'll maybe like give their opinion on that. Cause uh, it seems like, you know, it relates pretty heavily to like Dong and Rampa 3, like the anime and how like everything went down there. As everyone had hoped, the world had ultimately changed so little that it was like we could forget the tragedy ever happened. Oh, DRDT canon canonically happens 80 years after the events of the canon games. Oh, interesting. 
Okay, cool. Or they said they think. <laughs> Good. Keep going. Oh, am I on the right track? Those graduates of Hoped Peak helped rebuild destroyed cities, restore society, and then still a sense of hope back into the world. Because of that, the entire world admired them. Those young people who were the best of the best of their talents were saviors to everyone. So, the U.S. thought Hope Speak Academy was super cool and built their own. That way, they could have ultimates too. And it's not totally the same as the one in Japan, but at its core, it's an academy to foster young people who are the best of the best in their fields. Although, I guess that's where the similarities end. The U.S. Hope Speak Academy takes in college-aid students, and there's two of them, and we have this really weird curriculum, and there's a bunch of other things, and... Uh... And? Wait, let me reread that one again. Takes in college-age students, and there's two of them. Okay, two Hope Speak Academies, and we have this really weird curriculum. Okay, so uh, it's kind of interesting to take in college-age students, too. Things. And... Uh... And? That's it. That's all I remember. Really? <laughs> yes. Really? <laughs> yes? You absolutely have not studied enough. Ugh! The test is too soon! There's no way I'll have enough time! I'm totally going to fail! Relax, okay? Do you remember that saying that goes, study smarter, not harder? Eh? <laughs> How do I study smarter? First of all, you need to remember years. Test writers love to ask you for dates. It's a common question to trip up students who didn't study. God, I hated questions like that on history tests. Those are the worst fucking questions ever, dude. I love men's voice. It's so, like, calming, you know what I mean? Remember that we're East Class 27. So that means that Hope's Peak is how many years old? 27 years, right? Okay. Correct. That means that Hope's Peak was founded in this country in 20... In 20 and if you encounter a question that asks you to write an essay, just talk about how prestigious and incredible it is to be an ultimate at the best academy in the world. Butter your proctors up, if you know what I mean. Delete that right up. Ah, <laughs> you're so... It's spitting facts, honestly. <laughs> just compliment them a bunch. Just kiss their ass a little bit. They'll, they'll, they love that shit. So... Hard-headed? Well, it's what I do. So cool! <laughs> Cool. Oh my god, the blush. She looks around confused confusedly. Who are you looking for? I'm obviously talking to you. Who is this girl, man? I don't know. Cause I was like, I feel like her voice does sound like Aria, but her personality seems totally different. Yeah, <laughs> you're so cool. You know exactly how to take tests in the most efficient way possible. Isn't that cool? You really are a super incredible ultimate student. Yeah, that's all I'm good for, I suppose. Nothing but a student. Mm. She sounds down even though I praised her. Interesting. Interesting. Thank you, Xander, Matt, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, Kyo Kyokro. Oh my god. Thank you for the dono. Men's voice is so calming and smooth soothing. I know. It sounds so nice. I don't really feel like I got to hear it like that much during uh, the actual like uh, story part. So I was like, oh, it's so nice to hear like so much of it. In any case, the material you should focus on the most is... Is there something on your mind? I can't ignore the somber way you sounded right now. Oh, this girl's so sweet. Uh -huh. Min, it's okay if you tell me. Sorry, I didn't want to offend you, but I feel like I'm wasting my time doing this. I'm uh -oh. sorry, I shouldn't have bothered you to help me study. Uh -oh. No, I mean, the both of us are wasting our time. Look what our classmates are doing now. They're ultimates too. They're all doing things relevant to their career, if not actually outworking. Oh. Once they graduate, they'll be more than ready to get a job in their respective fields. And what are we doing? I guess I can see why she has kind of like a complex with her talent then. Because yeah, I was like, ultimate student, like, what does she do after being a student? You know what I mean? Everybody else kind of has like a career path. They already lined up for them. Whereas she's just like literally the ultimate student. I guess she could be like a teacher or something at Hope Speak Academy. But I can kind of see why she has like a complex about that. It's like, what am I studying for? Like, just for the sake of knowledge, you know what I mean? We're preparing you for some stupid high school level history tests that neither of us will remember in a month. 
Does it actually matter what year Hope's Peak Academy was founded? How is that information going to help any of us in the future? Min. I'm sorry. I... I've been so unsure these days of what I've been doing with my life. Poor girl. In this country, being an ultimate means more than going to Hope's Peak Academy. It's a high mark of prestige that you keep after graduation. A sign that you're going to be the best in your profession that the world has ever seen. But I've got no career path laid out for me. I can't help but compare myself to all my classmates who have real ultimate talents and wonder what I'm going to do with my life when I graduate. Yeah. Hang on. Real ultimate talent? You're the ultimate student! I mean, it's not like you're a lucky student who was picked by lottery. And <laughs> now like the dumb bitch Taruko. <laughs> oh man, thank you, uh, Misty, Misty Vias. Min, my love, is the worst student in the world. I love Min. She's so sweet, honestly. I don't know. I feel like they did a good job of making me, like, uh, really enjoy her. C even considering she was, like, you know, the first uh, culprit. She didn't get that much screen time. But uh, she's still very enjoyable and, like, relatable, I think. Ultimate student is absolutely a real talent. No, it's not. Seeing as you aren't very knowledgeable about Hope's Peak, you probably don't know how I got my talent, right? There's a difference between me and every other ultimate. Okay. Huh? Tell me, what makes someone an ultimate? How are ultimates chosen by Hope's Peak Academy? The Academy's talent scouting branch finds distinguished high schoolers who have incredible potential and some talent, right? That's exactly right. That's why I'm not a real ultimate. After all, I was never scouted by the Academy. Huh. I don't quite understand. Then how are you here? It's a different thing What do her. you think a student does to be enrolled into a school? Oh. I took a test, and I passed. Interesting. Thirteen years ago, Hope's Peak Academy announced the ultimate contest for eminent mm. students. I suppose for someone like you who doesn't care much about Hope's Peak and who... No offense, would never be eligible for the contest with such average grades. <laughs> okay, you don't have to roast me right now. It's plausible that you wouldn't have heard of it. At the time, the Academy declared that 12 years later, when I would be 17, anyone enrolled in high school at the time who met certain requirements would be eligible to take a test. It was a single comprehensive test that covered all kinds of subjects to be taken across the nation simultaneously by eligible high schoolers, and there was only one chance to take it. Whoever got the highest score on this test nationwide would be awarded the talent of ultimate student and would be able to enroll in the academy when they graduated. Okay, interesting. It's almost like, I wonder, how often do they do this? Single comprehensive test, subjects across the nation, huh. And there was only one chance to take it. Whoever got the highest score on this test nationwide would be awarded the talent of ultimate student and would be able to enroll in the academy when they graduated. I don't quite remember it because I was very young, but my family used to be quite poor. Poor enough that the ultimate contest was nothing more than a blip in the back of my parents' minds. But one day, we were visited by the founder of that big company, XF Tour Tech. He told my parents that he would sponsor me and pay for all of our expenses. All he I feel like the company is going to be important later, too. Interesting. Yeah, I never really thought too much about there being, like, a test that you could take to enter yourself into Hope Speak Academy, too. I guess it's not, like, quite the same as a lucky student, but I almost kind of wonder if they did that somewhat, like, often, you know what I mean? Like, uh, had, like, multiple lucky students. Because, yeah, I thought that was such a weird talent when she introduced herself, but I was like, eh, whatever, like... You know, what? like, probably overthinking it, but I did think it was kind of strange. I like that they're explaining it a bit more. That's very uh, interesting. Yeah, I like how they're adding on to, like, the Hope's Peak Academy lore. I bet it's fucked up now, too. Even 80 years later, they didn't learn their god dang lesson. Thank you, uh, Kyle Kryzik. Kry Kryzik for becoming a member. Appreciate ya. He asked in return was that in 12 years... I would pass the Academy's test and become the ultimate student. Oh, weird. And so I did. Okay. That's the story of how I got my talent as the ultimate student. So it all started because of that guy, too? Okay, the founder of that big company. He told my parents... Oh, interesting. That was 13 years before she took the test, so she was just, like, preparing for it the whole time. He told my parents that he would sponsor sus. me and pay for all of our expenses. Fucking all sus old man. All he asked was that in 12 years, or 12 I would years. pass the Academy's test and become the ultimate student. And so I did. That's the story of how I got my talent as the ultimate student. What? You may not do very well in school, but you're quite sharp. I guess it's not something that they do very often, actually, since, uh, I feel like if it was, like, 
I don't know, as not, I guess like it wouldn't be as frequent as like the lucky student thing. Cause it's like every year, but if it was like more frequent, I feel like more people would know about it and be like, oh yeah, that's just the, you know, the ultimate student, the one where they take like a SAT and they get in, you know what I mean? Oh, thank you, Kyle, Kryzik, clears throat, menace queen, you know I'm right. You speak absolute truth, Kyle. We all know it's true. I like Min a lot. She's, she's a good girl. It's definitely uh, interesting to know more, more about her too. I'm curious, uh... I'm kind of curious what the other bonus episode is going to go into as well. Judging by the look on your face, you're already starting to suspect that something's off about this story, right? Yep. <laughs> I could feel something building up in my throat. I had already put together the pieces of what Min had been implying this whole time. I just know what that fucking guy from the XF Corporation was doing. That was weird. What? Min knows what I'm going to ask. I can see that look of expectation in her eyes. If I ask her about that part of her story, I may get an answer I don't want to hear. Hmm. She looks so sad. That's exactly why I have to ask. Go Min. for it, unnamed classmate. Pop off, why queen. Why would Hope's Peak announce this contest 12 years before it would actually take place? When all the would-be contestants are just children. Because they wanted the contest to hang over the heads of kids like me for 12 years. From childhood all the way into high school. Oh man, that is a lot of pressure to, like, to put on a kid. Especially if she's from, like, a poor family, you know? It's like, you're gonna save us, little men. Little mini. Like, I know our life sucks right now, but it's all it's all on you, bitch. Better you better pass that test. Like uh I could see that being I mean, not that like her parents would like act like that, but it could feel that way regardless. Especially if you have like this guy investing in you and like providing for you and your family, and it's just like all, you know, riding on the fact that you get accepted. Like what would happen if she didn't she wasn't the one to become the ultimate lucky or not lucky, ultimate student, would she would he have, like, taken his money back, been like, <laughs> well, that investment didn't go through, so now you owe me $100,000. Thanks. <laughs> Leave it on the doorstep. They wanted to single out those who were obsessive enough to spend their entire lives preparing for this one test from childhood. Like, it ruins your childhood. I don't know why that man would sponsor some random child, nor why it would be me, of all people. And I never had the time nor space to figure out the answer to that question. Failure was not something I even considered, because if I failed, then there would be no future for me or my family. I had simply accepted for my whole life that I would be the ultimate student, and I lived my life accordingly. That's why the Academy chose me. To tell the truth, I doubt I was even the top scorer on that test. I'm oh. sure I did amazingly well, but it seems highly unlikely that I was number one in the nation in terms of raw scores. I was selected as the ultimate student not because of my academic performance nor my intelligence, but because I had grown into their ideal of an ultimate student. Creepy. God, I hope the Academy has not learned fucking shit <laughs> in like the past like 80 years, dude. Those motherfuckers. Thank you, Mysterious. Somebody, something tells me she's got the only A's parents. Yeah, for sure. Probably got like screamed at. She got like a B, a B plus. Like, what is this? It's like an 89. But uh, interesting. Huh. I guess we can keep going. What do you mean? Because of this contest, because I wanted to win, I'd let my entire life revolve around that one test. My achievement, studying, taking exams, being the top performer in my class. It's so sad, she never really got like the chance to choose like her own path or like, you know, interests or anything like that. Like she was just so like, I don't know like forced into this one role. That's really sad. I cut everything else out of my life for that one goal. And that is exactly what they wanted to see. That makes sense. I guess like, I was trying to think if there's anything they wanted to like do with her to wear like, uh, I don't know, like why they would feel like, oh, you have to have the exact personality of the ultimate student. You know what I mean? The ultimate contest for eminent students was made for a very specific target audience. Those children who had no talents, who would consider spending their entire lives preparing for one single test for even a chance to become an ultimate. Oh, man. Maybe someone like you who never cared about Hope's Peak wouldn't understand. But it's everyone else's dream to be an ultimate. Man, she's giving me Hajime vibes right now, dude. Being an ultimate means knowing that you're more extraordinary and gifted than anyone else. 
and knowing that the entire nation trusts you to build their future. It's like even working your entire life to get in, it's like you still feel so like belittled by other people around you who are like, I don't even know anything about Hope Speak Academy. What's that? You know what I mean? In the end, what the Academy wanted wasn't to select the most intelligent student nor the best test taker, but to conduct an experiment to see if someone would force themselves to become the idea of an ultimate for the Academy's sake and succeed. Almost kind of like a a fabricated ultimate in a way. It's interesting. It's not like natural talent, I feel like, like the others, you know? I see. That's how you got your talent. I am ashamed that I'm only now learning something so important. I'm sorry. That's exactly why my talent of ultimate student is useless. It only exists because Hope's Peak Academy wants it to. If Hope's Peak never existed, then all my classmates would still have their talents. They would still be athletes and musicians and doctors. But for me, if Hope's Peak never existed, and I never took that test, then I would just be another talentless nobody. No. no I don't agree. Huh? You're not nobody. Even if I pretend that you're not an ultimate, and that we're not both students in Hope Speak Academy, you're still somebody to me. You're only saying that to make me feel better. <laughs> Ultimates aren't everything. As if I'm only friends with you because of your talent. There's more to you than that. It's just this, she wasn't really allowed to have more to her than that, like, ever. I feel like I, like, uh, it makes so much more sense to, like, her demeanor and stuff as well. We aren't just a collection of walking achievements and accolades and things to necessarily be proud of, but all those small things that make us human. All those little quirks about you that you never noticed, don't think that anyone has noticed. They're what make you so special to me. <laughs> oh! It's so cute! You're somebody who likes wearing sweaters with oversized sleeves because you feel cozier that way. Oh. You're somebody who loves collecting insects and you don't care if other girls think it's gross. You're somebody who buys fish-shaped pastries and saves the chocolate-filled ones Aww. for me because you know that those are my favorite. So sweet! You're somebody to me, Min. Aww. So what if you felt you wasted your life trying to become an ultimate? You're only 18. You have so much much of your life ahead of you. Oof, I hate it when they say lines like that to characters who are already dead. Oof. 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 Oh god, that hurts. That was painful. Thank you, Fallen Redditor. Min never had a life. Not a past or- Ah, no! Stop it! Stop it! No! Or a future. God damn it. That, that hurts, dude. That is not- That's not- Not cool, Fallen Redditor, dude. Man, now I'm sad. Now I'm fucking sad. God, that was just like a stab to the heart, man. You haven't <sighs> wasted anything. And I'm proud of you for all that you've done. Even if you're not. Oh, I just like, I'm gonna believe that there's reincarnation in this universe and she's able to like, I don't know, follow her own dreams and like a future life, you know what I mean? That's like the only thing that's gonna be able to get me through this. Okay. <sighs> Poor girl. Lived her whole I, life for other people. I was thinking of saying something embarrassing. <gasps> oh my god. But you never laugh at me, so oh I'm god. not afraid to say something that embarrassing. Say it, confess. I think. Oh. I think I have an idea of what I want to do when I graduate. Be your wife. Oh my god. Slay. I think In a good way. I want to help people somehow. Oh, that too. The same way that you're helping me. If I could make others feel the way you make me feel then maybe I could be happy with myself and I could forget all about my talent. Maybe I'll become a teacher. Yeah. I'm not the best at teaching and I'll never be as good as him, but I want to try. Oh, is there like an ultimate teacher that we know too? I was like, I feel like she would be uh, really good at teaching. I mean, she was like really shy, but I feel like she could overcome that, you know what I mean? I'm happy for you, Min. Aw. Look, you're teaching right now. See, you're good at it. Oh, <laughs> like you just got a little, a little small, a small smile. I smile and I wink. I'm glad I could reach out to you, Min. One day you'll definitely help someone else like you. Know. <laughs> she, I'm sure she helped somebody out before she, before she, she croaked, unfortunately. Thank you, sleepy boy. I'm crying, this is too wholesome. I know, man. I'm gonna need the fun free time events to cheer me up after this. This is so depressing. It's so good, but it's so sad. Thank you, Jeff Everywhere. With this backstory, I'm surprised that Min didn't resent Taruko, considering Taruko 
acquired her talent through luck and not dedication like her. Oh, that is kind of an interesting thing to say or like to kind of think about. I could kind of see that being the case. I feel like she probably also could relate to Turuko in a way, feeling like, I don't know, also like that imposter syndrome, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure Taruko feels like, hey, I'm not really an ultimate, you know, I'm just some lucky, lucky bastard who got selected. And I mean, men, I feel like she just, I don't know, she really heavily diminishes like her qual, like how good of a hard worker she is. Like on one hand, it's like, girl, you shouldn't have been put through that as a child, but it is amazing the fact that she works so hard and like that in and of itself is a talent, you know what I mean? Like, uh, just being dedicated enough to, like, accomplish your goals. I think uh, a lot of times people, even myself, because I'm not, like, really talented at anything, but I do think I'm a hard worker, but I kind of, like, diminish it a lot. I'm just like, well, I suck so bad. That's that's why I have to keep working hard. And that's what I kind of feel like she does, too. I could really uh, relate to her, honestly. So I, uh, I feel like that's why this is, like, hitting me so hard in the feels. Oh, thank you, Captain Draken. Remembering that men's execution. <laughs> I didn't need to be reminded of that. Called her worthless. Damn it, dude. Ah, I forgot about that too. Damn. Because I thought that was like, oh, I was like, oh, that's sad watching the execution. But now thinking about it in context of like this and all her like deepest, darkest insecurities. Oh, God, that's so freaking painful, dude. I hate it here, dude. I fucking hate it here. Oh god, we need a com we need a comfy check for us and best girl men. I know. Thank you, Bree. We do need a comfy check. I'm not comfy. <laughs> I'm not comfy at all. I'm sad. I'm very sad. Very sad and uncomfy right now. But thanks for the dono, Bree. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, I already read this line. I can't I can't do it again. It's too emotional. Okay, that's enough break. Back to studying. Uh, so soon? You know what else is soon? Your test on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So then, next question. Cute. Wait! Name all 13 associated universities and give the state they're located in. Wait! I'm not ready! Uh. Hmm. I gotta start, man, I really wanna start listening to the voices to see who that is. I'm like, I'm trying to think. I'm like, I don't, is it, Ro no, not Rose, cause Rose is like, a genius <laughs> so you can like remember everything i was like was her voice kind of high-pitched i'm like trying to think if who else had like a kind of high-pitched uh, voice maybe eden maybe i feel like eden was pretty close with her too but i can't really recall exactly what eden's voice sounded like it's like maybe partially like aria's but i don't know oh no xander <laughs> no don't do this to me don't i'm already apologizing on his behalf <laughs> I'm already just like constantly, constantly apologizing for him. Like I'm already such an, a Xander apologist. Like I don't need, I don't need a tearjerker event to convince me. Honestly, the VA is credited. It's not anybody else's VA. Oh, okay. Maybe it is just a random student then. Huh? Or I guess maybe she could have been like a different killing game. It is like a TV show. So there could have been several, several of them, but we'll see. Ah, uh, Xander. <laughs> This is fucking Xander. It's okay. It's okay. I'll get through this. I'll get through this. We'll get through it together, guys. I already, before I play this, I know he did nothing wrong ever in his entire life. And after I play this, I'll know even more he did nothing wrong. He's in England right now, eating crumpets with the queen or something. Oh, what the fuck? No! No, Bridget, go away! Big chunk of Mick, Mitch, uh, Mitch Donald. Fuck. <laughs> no. Get out of here. You're about to be banned. I'm just kidding. I would, I would never. But no, stop. <laughs> so cursed. Thought you were Dara for a second with a profile picture. I, I made it. I'm glad we're visiting men in England. Oh God. Stay away from her, Mitch. Get a job. Get a fucking job. <laughs> oh God. That was so funny. Thanks for the dono, Bridget. I was just kidding about banning you. Even though, even though you keep reminding me that fucking McDonald's fanfic. You didn't have to come, you know. You're very nice for offering to accompany me, but I'm sure you've got much better things to do. I still feel bad for dragging you along like this. <laughs> Best boy, so cute. Look at him. No, it's fine. Don't think you're making me come with you. I'm here because I want to be here. Wait, 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 wait
they're credited the Cry across eli i'm like does the voice kind of sounds similar too wait well who was the voice actress in the last one it's like this bitch just hanging out with everybody who's dead like <laughs> wait one second eli it is no Okay, this girl's fucking sussy now. I don't trust you. I don't I don't know your actual names. So I'm just gonna call you Eli. I don't trust you, girl. I was like, why is it the same girl here? Why? Why is it the same girl? <sighs> fucking Junko cologne or some shit. Let's see. Let's well maybe it maybe it is just one voice actress, like, you know, voicing several several different students, you know? They're just taking up the taking up the unnamed classmate, but it's, I don't know, that was like my first thing. I was like, why is it the same girl? Why are you, why are you besties with everybody who's dead so far, girl? Fucking sus. Besides, you get so sulky when you do this. I figure you would need me here anyway. It's just me telling them to slay before they even, uh, <laughs> before they even get into the killing game. She's just like saying slay a bunch underneath like it's like besides slay you get slay so sulky slay when you do this slay it's like for some reason I really want to slay now I don't, I don't know what it is I forgot I gave him a British voice god dang it Bridget big chunk of Mitch Donald no I don't want your stupid burger uh, order up uh, Mitch would work at fucking McDonald's <laughs> oh god thank you for the dono though Bridget appreciate ya I'm not sulking. I'm not sulking. I, I'm not sulking. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah, totally sulking. But really, thanks. I truly do appreciate it. You're always thinking about me. Oh, you know what? We never figured out. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I'm just like brainstorming a bunch right now watching these. But we never really thought too much about like the person at the very beginning of the game. I might want to rewatch that scene. Maybe we could rewatch it on scene. On stream, I mean. When they're like, fuck Taruko, I gotta kill Taruko. It just seems interesting that she, this girl seems to know Xander and Min. And we never really got an answer to who that was. So I'm like, was that possibly her? And she was in another death game with Taruko or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have the eye injury. Aw. Yeah, well, I think, uh, yeah, I guess like. He didn't even remember how he got it, though, too. So I guess this is a memory he would have had before he, before he, you know, <laughs> before he, uh, you know what I mean? I'll make it up to you, really. I'll reimburse your plane ticket and all the other travel fees. That's silly. I can pay for it myself. Besides, you're letting me stay at your place for a week. So if anything, you're doing me a favor. That's not it at all. Really, I insist. It's fine. It's not that expensive. I'll treat you to dinner. What? <laughs> no way. Not if I treat you first. I'll Aww. buy you something to make it up. Not if I beat you to it. Oh, this girl's just flirting with everybody. <laughs> Sorry for the sudden outburst. I've forgotten how fun it was to travel with friends. Thanks for being with me. He's so cute. Of course. <laughs> Oh, the red-haired girl after Taruko died. Oh, maybe it is her. Oh, interesting. Should we watch that scene too? I was like, I couldn't really remember too much about her other than just kind of like seeing her and being like, whoa, that kind of looks like Jinder Ben Xander for a second. But maybe that is, that is her. Interesting. Fun fact, Xander was born with an eye condition. Basically, when he was... When he is low on emotions, his eyes turn completely gray. When he's energized, they're a bright yellow. Sometimes it can be a mix. Oh, interesting. So when he's low on emotions, gray. When he's energized, bright yellow. Oh, interesting. I'll have to pay attention. Have to pay more attention to that. Thank you for the uh, the trivia, though, Bree. Well, after Taruko almost died, Ghosty. I think that's what they meant. <laughs> Just like that, the smile quickly fades from his face. Are you all right? You seem distracted. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Kind of interesting somebody targeted his eyes, too, considering he has that um, eye condition. I'm sorry. That was a dumb thing to say. Of course you're distracted. Mm -hmm. You probably have too much on your mind right now, given that today is... I know that I shouldn't, but I really can't stop reading about it. It? Mm -hmm. After all, I'm curious. Can you really blame me? 
I wanted to know how it felt. I keep searching for some answer that'll make me feel better when no such thing exists. You know, it must have been really painful to die like that. Oh, his face! Oh my god, that fucking deadpan stare. Huh. Interesting. I just kind of assumed that girl that Truco saw died, honestly. Like, is it me or is he talking about her? And that's like... <laughs> you know what happened? I don't fucking know. As I thought... You haven't stopped thinking about what happened at North Sea in Sheraton all those years ago. I read that it was like rotting from the outside in. Uh. Your limbs would stop working before your organs did, and you would lie there and feel yourself die and be unable to do anything about it. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, there was buddy! Only one dinky, understaffed hospital for miles. One that could barely handle a minor flu outbreak, much less that incident. Okay, it seems like kind of reminded me like what was that disease in v3 like the despair not the despair disease but they had that other like you know disease that took over the nation or the world sander i read that it took weeks before they even figured out what to do with all the bodies they left them where they died after all there was no one left to move them sander Jesus. stop <laughs> it was during may that time of the year where the temperature quickly grows to be excruciatingly hot oh my god you know what that does to corpses right I'm sure the smell was unbearable. Oh my Sander, god. Stop it. Just stop talking. Oh my god. I feel like his parents or something died too during that maybe. That's why it's like also so like, uh, I don't know, personal to him. Was it just called the virus? Was that it? I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have brought this up at all. No, I should be apologizing for yelling at you like that. I didn't mean it. No, oh, it's my bad. I, I made you upset. And you'll probably say something like, even so, it's not good for you to obsess over this, so I should probably stop talking about it. Hmm. Even so, it's not good for you to... <laughs> hey! <laughs> you stole my line! <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I was going to say that it's bad for you if you keep thinking about it. But I can't ask that you stop talking. Because even if you never say another word, you'll still be thinking about it. Some part of me thinks that letting those obsessive thoughts run rampant in your head is way worse than telling someone else about it. That's why I want you to keep talking about it. And I'll try my best to help you manage your thoughts, however bad they might be. That's true, though, because I feel like when you just like obsess over something, it's easier to like... I don't know, spiral downward and then like catastrophize and all that. So it is better to definitely talk to people about stuff like this. After all, that's why I came with you. Are you sure? Whatever you want to say, whatever's on your mind, you should say it. I promise I won't yell at you again. <sighs> he takes a deep breath. <laughs> now that you're asking me, I suddenly don't know what to say. I just feel bad. I think the worst part of it all was that I wasn't there. Xander, if you're saying you wish you died, don't. Yeah, it does seem like his family and friends died and like he just maybe happened to be like abroad or something. That's so sad. Thank you, Kyle Kryzik. You come into my life, sing my line, and think it's okay. Thank you for the dono. That was basically yeah, just what happened to her. Oh, man. No, that's not what I meant. And that definitely would have been worse. Nothing but another pitiful waste of a human life. Do you know what I was doing then? While such a large-scale disaster was happening in the States? Hmm. I was studying for my finals. I was really concerned that if my GPA got too low, I'd lose my scholarship and they'd send me back home. I never even found out what happened in Chariton until a month later. <laughs> what a joke. What happened like... too low, I'd lose... So in the States? I was studying for my... While such a large-scale disaster was happening in the States. Okay, I kind of assumed it was happening in Britain, so I just kind of wanted to... Where's Cheriton, too? That sounds, that sounds British. I was studying for my finals. I was really concerned that if my GPA got too low, I'd lose my scholarship and they'd send me back home. Yeah, do you see, it does seem like his eyes, like, they get, like, darker sometimes, you know, like, more gray. I never even found out what happened in Cheriton until a month later. The sadder he gets. <laughs> what a joke. I see. I never knew that, to be honest. 
I guess that's not the kind of detail that would make it into the news stories. I... I was... <laughs> uh oh. I was such a stupid fucking kid back then. Oh, that stare is just so dead on the inside. Always worried about grades and homework and tests. All I wanted was to be a good student, to fit in, and to stay in school. That way I thought I'd make my parents proud and be someone my siblings could look up to. I wish that I had realized back then that there's so much in life that's more important than doing well in school. So what if I fail my final? So what if I can't find the determinant of some random matrix? None of that had any impact on who I am and what I do now. I might as well not have bothered. Being able to sit on my ass and bury my nose in a book was a luxury that I had no right in taking. If I could meet my younger self, I don't know what I'd do. Deck them, maybe. Man. It's possible that things could have been different if you were a different person, Xander, but... <laughs> he shouldn't blame himself for that. I understand, like, the guilt of, uh... Especially if it was, like, his siblings and his parents. It does seem like that, that they all died, you know, due to this disease, and he was, just, like, studying, having no idea what was going on. But it's like, I don't know. I guess I can understand, like, that he feels guilty since he didn't have to, like, deal with that. I don't know. He shouldn't blame himself, but I, I get why he feels that way. I don't think things would have been too different. You were, what, a 14-year-old kid at the time? What could you have possibly done, even if you knew beforehand? That river was their only water source. And you know as well as I do how little money anyone had. They couldn't afford to drive to the city for medicine, much less treat their water, much less move out of Sheraton into somewhere better. So the water was what got them sick? It's not practical to save everyone. You think that if things were different, if you made different choices, then maybe something would have changed. But sometimes you have to accept that you were young and powerless. I'm sorry if I overstepped my bounds. No, you're right. It's not like I don't also know that. It's good to have someone remind me, I guess. It really makes me mad. Oh yeah, his eyes. Oh wow, that was a quick change. Interesting. It's good to have someone remind me, I guess. So it's kind of hard to notice too, because I'll like close his eyes and open them again. Oh, thank you. Uh, the Fallen Redditor. Men and Xander are so different, but so similar. Yeah, it's kind of interesting thinking about like the parallels that they seem to like, uh, I don't know, have between each other. I feel like it guy. Like, I don't know. I feel like there definitely is some parallels. I feel like I'm not like... I haven't been able to piece together exactly like what that is, but they do feel very similar, but very different, you know? But thank you for the dono. Appreciate ya. It really makes me mad how much Duke Sperling got away with. I still want him to suffer more for his selfishness. But I need to move on. The guy in charge of Cheriton or something? In the end, it would only help myself feel better to make him suffer, and it wouldn't help anyone else. It wouldn't change the past, nor make anyone's lives easier. If I keep obsessing over guilt, justification, and revenge, then I'm still dwelling on a past I can't change. All I can do is keep looking forward. Oh, thank you, Captain Draken. No wonder he got so hot-headed when he was when he talked to men during the introductions. Oh, interesting. Oh man, this is like really making me want to like rewatch uh, a lot of their scenes, you know what I mean? But thank you for the uh, dono, appreciate ya. I promise myself, I'll never let a disaster like that happen again. If I can save the lives of innocent people, then I'll do whatever it takes, no matter what. Definitely enters, like, it definitely makes more sense to why he has like the talent of a ultimate rebel. Hey. Rebel against the man who betrayed or, you know, let down his family. Hey, that sounded <laughs> cool. <laughs> Oh no. I feel like Mr. David right now, saying something super inspirational. Oh, that's so sad. It was a little dorky, actually, but I'm glad that you're in a better mood now. Mm -hmm. That's what's Admiral about you. Huh? Was that speech really that cool? Mm -hmm. Uh, not that. I think your ability to bounce back from adversity is really admirable. That determination of yours is admirable, too. If you set out to do something, then never give up on that. No matter what obstacles may stand in your way, even if it's risky or against the rules, as long as it's for a good cause, I'll trust that you know to do the right thing. Yeah, 
Of course. Oh, oh no, he's sad again. Oh, come on. I was trying to give you a pep talk, bro. You're supposed to stay hyped up. Oh, his eyes got all gray again. Trust that you know to do the right thing. Trust you, bro. Oh, he doesn't believe in himself. That's sad. Yeah, of course. <sighs> That's why I've come to Hope Speak, isn't it? Huh? Oh, speaking of Hope Speak, I need to ask Xander if he found that document I asked him to look for. This girl's so fucking sus, dude. Motherfucker. And <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm just imagining her as Junko. I didn't want to unload the work on him, but he's much better at digging up stuff than I am. But it's definitely not something I should bring up in a public place. I'll remember to ask him later. Is something on your mind? You look distracted now. Yeah, I do have something I want to ask you. What color are your eyes exactly? Okay, this is when he talks about it. Sorry, but I have to change the topic or to something frivolous. Wh huh? <laughs> you had such an intense look on your face, and we've just had a totally serious conversation. <laughs> I really thought you were going to say something meaningful. Also, you seriously can't tell? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're really weird. They're gray, I think. But sometimes when the light hits them at an angle, they look yellow. I have no clue what sort of color that is. You're overthinking it. My eyes are clearly... Uh. Oh, it's our stop. Oh. We better get going. Okay. Wait, are you going to answer my question? Hey, don't forget to grab your bag. <laughs> Ignore it. I'm serious. This has bugged me ever since I met you. What color are your eyes? Mm -hmm. Sander! Huh. I was kind of curious to see what color he would say. I feel like he would probably say gray. You know what I mean? Rather than saying uh, yellow. Because I feel like he just has a very like low opinion of himself. I feel like Eli, were they in maybe like um, Shattered Hope or something? Their voice just sounds so familiar to me. It's driving me crazy. I'm like... Do they voice cancel, maybe? Is that it? Is that where I'm getting it from? I'm gonna have to look that up later, because that's driving me insane. But, uh, yeah, that was super interesting. I I'm so sad that Xander's dead, dude. I was trying so hard not to get attached to him, just because he was giving me so many death flags, but, like, I still did, damn it. I still fucking did. And now I have to see his trauma dump. It's not fair. It's not fucking fair, man. You can't do this to me, game. You can't do this to me. And I guess, like, I don't know. I'm still really sus of this girl. What'd she say she wanted? She hasn't done anything, like, super bad, but... I don't know. It's just the fact that she's like in both of these. And I'm like, what is she? She wanted like a document or something from him too or something like that. Oh, English Kanade. Is that it? Oh my God. No wonder I'm suspicious of this girl. I'm like, something about this girl gives me bad vibes. I can't, I can't put my finger on it. That, okay, that's totally what it is then. It's totally what it is. Thank you. Even... Uh, Guterres, I think the unnamed student is the one stabbed in the prologue. I kind of think so too, honestly. That's kind of what I think makes the most sense. The documents and oh, the documents in the start of the prologue. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I do have something. I oh yeah, let me. What was she? That's why I've come. We'll to can look at the prologue speak, again in a it? second. Oh, speaking of Hope's Peak, I need to ask Sander if he found that document I asked him to look for. It does seem like she likely is that Reddit girl, I guess, that, like, Taruka saw, but maybe also the person from the beginning. Maybe it's the same one. I didn't want to unload the work onto him, but he's much better at digging up stuff than I am. But it's definitely not something I should bring up in a public place. I'll remember to ask him later. Is something on your mind? Huh. You look distressed. So that's why. Because you don't want to be in a public place. Oh, man, the lore, dude. The fucking lore. Okay, I think this is, this is the first, the very first one. I just kind of want to relook at this and see if we notice anything interesting. You know what I mean? Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. This really hurts. So, yeah, this person has, like, a bunch of documents around them, too. Ah, oh, it's got to be her, right? Ouch, I really wasn't expecting her to attack me like that. Fucking Taruko, too. I made a massive mistake to trust them. I can't rely on anyone. All by myself. I have to end the killing game. And even if I can't do that... Huh. Oh yeah, I have to kill Taruko Tawaki. 
no matter what. I'm like, did she? Because it seems like this girl died, but then Xander got a note too being like, make sure to kill Taruko, bestie. Don't forget. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <sighs> Driving me crazy. Interesting though. Very, very interesting. Which were, where was the the BDA though? I kind of wanted to see if I could, uh... oh no, this is the investigation. No, that's the, okay, that's, I think the other BDA or whatever. Which one did I click on actually? Is that, uh, episode six, so probably episode five was when he stabbed her. Let's see if I can go back to that one. Do should be towards the end, right? Yes, that. It's kind of a victory watch the scene too. It's so freaking good. What I'm trying to say is, I'm sorry, Terika. It's sorry for what? <sighs> sorry for this. Oh my god. Oh, I can see his eyes changing color too in that scene. Nice. Right before. When he was saying sorry, his eyes were gray, but then they turned yellow again, right? When he was getting ready to do it. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, 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 shit. I I'm sorry. I Xander, you... Why would you... I'm the worst, aren't I? Oh, his eyes are gray I there, too. Murderers. I hate the smell of blood, and I hate this feeling. I would have never... I would have never wanted to hurt you. Then why did I do this? I don't even know. Why? Just why did you ask me to kill Terika? Yeah, that's where who, he said that. Who are you talking to? Did she, like, leave him a note in his room or something? It's not important right or, now. Like... I'm sorry. I really am. But I have to do this. I need to trust in myself that this was worth it. I was like wondering how she relayed that message to him, you know what I mean? I don't know. Good night, Terika. Sorry guys, yeah, I just wanted to rewatch the scene to see uh see any more hints and stuff. Going to work. What? Your plan it's not going to work. She's immortal. After all, I <coughs> Yeah, I just want to see this girl one more time, too. I'm... I'm Radio I'm Rebel. I'm Teriko Tawaki, the ultimate lucky student. And I can't be killed, no matter what. Grace, I wonder if his dead body probably had gray eyes, right? <laughs> Rest in peace, best worst boy. Oh yeah, there she is in the very beginning of this one. I want to get a look at her again. I'm assuming that has to be the girl that he was talking to. That makes the most sense. She has gloves on too. Hmm. I feel like it could be. I don't know. It's strange that I remember her now of all times. What was her name again? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. An uh, unnamed student, that's what it was. Now I remember. How can I forget such a beautiful name? Xander always reminded me of that girl. Perhaps that's why I'm thinking of her now. She does look like Gender Ben Xander. They look similar with that same red hair and smile, and they both wanted to help, didn't they? Speaking of Xander, what was I doing? I think I was in the middle of something important. I don't remember, though. I feel like I'm on the cusp of waking up. Okay, I think this is when she... uh wakes up ah! she didn't have some kind of tattoo though it seemed like i feel like that could be it kind of looked like a henna tattoo almost it's like flowers <gasps> oh wait, wait 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 it looks like the text boxes on oh, the bonus episodes oh it does it god it's totally got to be her because the text boxes had that kind of like flowery uh border right Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, yeah, that's totally gotta mean that that's her. 
Because, yeah, it has. Oh, my God. It looks like the same flower for sure. For freaking sure, right? Oh, my God. Oh, we, we're breaking barriers. We're figuring it out here, guys. We're figuring it out. Okay, cool. Then that's basically got to confirm it to me then, honestly. Thank you, S. Briax202. Xander will do anything for innocent people. Taruko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just like, I don't know. There's definitely something that Taruko's done in the past. I'm like, I can't, I don't know. I can't help but think that uh, it was something like, I don't know, that she like she was in a previous killing game and tried to kill somebody or something like that. And maybe like, you yeah, had the flower, a flower girl, maybe I'll just call her flower girl. She like was in it and she like left, you know, that was why she like left clues to, uh, I don't know. Xander to kill Taruko. Man, she kind of fucked him over though, <laughs> didn't she? <laughs> didn't she? Okay, we can do the free time events now. We can uh we can stop the depression and start the uh <laughs> we can stop the depression and start the happiness. Oh, we conducted a one-week poll asking the viewers what character pairings they wanted to see for a free time event. The top 20 results on the poll are below. Oh, Asen, uh, Asen Levi. Nice. Charles and Witt. Based. So based. I love Charles and Witt. They're so funny. Min and Xander. David and Xander. Art and Vero. Arie J. Levi. Uh, Levi and Mono TV. <laughs> that one's kind of interesting. Jay and Levi. Wow. Lots of Levi love. Arie. Lots of Arie love too. Art and Charles. Nico Witt. Ace Arie. Art and Levi, Eat Nico, Nico Xander, Wit Xander, something. Okay, Charles and Wit though, based. That's my favorite one so far. Ariane David, David at the end. Mono TV and Xander. God, who doesn't ship Mono TV and Xander? I mean, like, come on, guys. Let's let's be honest. That's obviously the best ship. Why is it so low at the bottom? Some of the following FTEs were determined by randomly selecting one of the votes. In other words, the pairs are randomly selected, but pairings that are voted for more often were more likely to be chosen. Therefore, the free time events shown in this video may not be the most requested pairings. Okay, interesting. Is this going to be like canon technically or not really? It doesn't really seem like it. It just kind of seems goofy. Was Rose never mentioned? How could you? <laughs> okay, we need more Rose love. She's my wife and you guys will respect her. Oh, because FTEs are made by the audience vote, they're written after the production of chapter one. They may not fit well into the story. If there are discrepancies between the free time events and the story, please disregard it. These free time events are not considered to be official content. Okay, so it is just like uh, AU stuff. Oh my God, fanfic zone, yay. Time. <coughs> um. Oh yeah, let me turn down the volume now that we're uh, out of the voice acting sections. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, that was uh, that was loud. Um, looks like Jay is trying to fiddle. Oh, looks like Jay. Oh, I get to actually uh, read their thoughts too. Looks like Jay is trying to fiddle with the elevator buttons. Oh, <laughs> what a dumbass! Does she know that the elevator doesn't work? She's so focused that she hasn't even noticed me. This is perfect. I'm going to sneak up on her and surprise her. Slowly, I creep up behind her. Reach my arms. Okay. Oh, my God. This really is like a shipping moment. Reach my arms around her torso and slightly kiss her on the She's like, what are Jay's like, what are what are you doing? Are we in, are we in fanfic land right now? It could wrap her tummy. What the fuck? And tingle, 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 tingle. <laughs> Jay whoops around fast. The force knocks me to the ground. Bing bong. Oh, you. <laughs> you pushed me. What's it hurts. Wrong with you? What the hell are you doing? Uh, she doesn't feel bad about shoving me. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> oh, thank you, Clover. OMFG, bye bitches. FTV evaporates and explodes. Oh, is this the reason why you ship them? I was kind of wondering. <laughs> that makes sense. Though. Thanks for the dono, Clover. Why does she feel bad about shoving me? I stand up slowly, making a big show of brushing myself off, hoping that it'll make her feel guilty. Guilty. The blue by bitches. Seriously, answer me. What do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? Stupid. I'm bothering you, stupid. 
Jeez, you're so straightforward about it. No shame at all. Can you stop that? But also, cut that out. <laughs> the why. You're so fun to tease. Reactions are hilarious. It's funny when your face gets all red and blushy. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, Kiyotaki Shimaru. Thank you, best boy. Am here for a month. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thanks for being a sodanist. And yes, you are still the best boy from Danganronpa 1. Besides, you should be thankful. I could be bullying you way harder than this. <sighs> Why would I thank you for that? <laughs> Actually, thank yourself for being such a, a soon soon. After all, you're in the category of people I'd bully the least. <laughs> yep, that's right. I organize everyone I mean to categories of how I should bully them. What the fuck? <laughs> you gotta stay organized, okay? Come on now. <laughs> What the actual fuck? Jeez, what is wrong with you? Um. Uh, also, ah! <laughs> also, if you wouldn't mind, let me know what category I'm in. <laughs> what category am I am? And I am I in the pretty, the pretty category? <laughs> the pretty cute girl category? Ah, <laughs> she's so unsubtle. I'll be nice to her for a bit because she's so pathetic that she's funny. You're in the cool and suave wannabe boys. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm cool and suave, but you also think I'm a boy? I said you're a wannabe. Boys who go in this category think they're super cool, but they're not really cool at all. All I need to do is tease them, and they get all flustered and embarrassed. And just like you, you're the first girl I'm adding to this category, though. That's kind of interesting. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, what? Hey, <laughs> her reaction is so entertaining. I knew it. Jay is the best person to tease. I feel like, I don't know, it's like, I guess she does kind of do this with like, I feel like I think of teasing as being more of like a uh, mutual kind of thing, but I feel like Ari is just kind of a bitch to people. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, I'm just teasing them. I mean, it seems like Jay is enjoying herself or whatever, but uh, you know, thinking about other characters and stuff too, but I'm like, does Ari like mean well when she teases most of the time? Because it definitely does not come off that way. But I feel like the way she describes it, it's like, uh, what should I call it? Uh, it kind of makes it seem like she doesn't really think she's doing anything wrong. It's just like, ah, oh, we're just, you know, riffraffing like friends. I feel like a cat toying with a little mouse. I could totally eat her up at any time. But it's much more fun to watch her struggle. And this is the best category to be in. Of course, I only tease you and that's it. It could be way worse. I literally torture others. For example, there's the category of spineless pushovers, like Levi. For those guys, I use them as my personal maids because they'll do anything I want as long as I prod them in the right <laughs> way. Poor Levi. <laughs> You're going to do that until Levi snaps and then murders your ass. <laughs> you don't want to be my maid, do you? Or do you? Are you into that? Ugh, I guess not. Yeah. And then there's the category of adorable, sweet people like Eden. I like to torment these cuties. See, that is not that is not teasing, girly. I like to torment these cuties until they start crying so that they're not so cute anymore. I won't let anyone be cuter than me after all. <laughs> Finally, there's the category of people who are mean to me. I know it's super unbelievable that anybody would be mean to me, but trust me, there are people out there who don't understand the natural order of the world that is to worship me and kiss the ground I walk on. Oh, thank you, Kiyotaka Shimaru. Can't wait to binge the vids of this when it's over. Oh, thank you so much. And yes, the series is so good. You got to get into it. It's really, really enjoyable. I've liked it a lot. Definitely one of my favorite fan fangans so far. At least like the ongoing ones. Crush their pathetic lives into dust and then throw them out into the garbage to rot. Jesus Christ, that face. Just bullying that trash is too nice. I'll shatter their happy lives until there's no going back. <laughs> right to that sprite afterwards. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I reveal my true form for a second there? She's reminded me of that girl from uh, yesterday. <laughs> the Ace Attorney stream. Thank you, big chunk of Mitch Donald. Man, imagine Jay and Arya going on a date sharing... Fuck off, no! 
<laughs> no more McDonald's. No. Sharing a Big Mac with each other. Oh, so romantic. And Mitch takes their order. God, that's so beautiful. You can't write romantic scenarios like that. Oh, God. Thank you, Bridget, for the donation. Thank you, Jeff. RA tries to bully people kindly. I do it better. That is true. You do You do the bullying too, Jeff. I feel like it is mostly teasing. I feel like it's like teasing, though, when you send me Webkin's, like the Webkin's milk cat <laughs> sticker that we made or whatever. But uh, I feel like RA, I don't know. She's just so mean about it. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. You're totally like a textbook high school bully. Wait, we just graduated from high school. You definitely were a high school bully. Duh. Of course, and nothing less for someone as wonderful as me. I was the queen of my school. I had everyone under my foot, and no one would dare speak out against me. Hmm. I wanted to turn everyone here into my personal servants as well, but you're all ultimate. It's probably better if I treat you as my peers. Ugh, lame as that is. Ugh, fucking losers. Thank fucking God. Seriously? Also, your concept of treating others as your peers is totally fucked. If this is how you act. Yeah, for real. If you want to be my peer, then why don't you try to, I don't know, not bother me all the time? Nope. Ah, oh, no way. You're too fun. You're so fun to tease. Your reactions are always so hilarious. <laughs> Especially if I call you a boy. Then you get all deliciously flustered. <laughs> Um, that's, that, that, that's, that, that's not, oh, look at her face, she's all flustered, just like I said she would be, it's so adorable. Uh, listen, uh, listen to me, you little asshole. You? Uh, girls are just super, uh, super uncool. Uh, wow. Saying. Oh, what? <laughs> listen, girls are lame as hell, okay? I was like, why did she get so flustered with that? I was kind of like thinking about that, but it, she just got like a, you, you hate girls? Don't be like that, Jay. Thank you, Rose Graham, Secret FT, Mitch X Weeby. <laughs> X Owie, no! Dude, I tried to forget about her. Don't, don't remind me. Don't remind me about Owie. Jesus Christ. I don't want to remember. I had forgotten, and then now you brought this up and traumatized me yet again. Oh, God. Thank you for the donation, though. Yeah, I was like, man, this I, I like Jay, but this line is giving me like pick pick me girl energy. Listen, girls are lame as hell, okay? I mean, I know I'm a girl, but I mean I'm not like other girls. But I mean in general, other other than me, I'm not like other girls, so I'm not lame, but all other girls fucking suck, dude. Fuck. After all, girls are always so vain and obsessed. Oh god! Oh my god! This is the most pick me. I'm not like other girls. Crap, and obsessed with dumb crap like fashion and makeup. Ugh, fucking lame. Yeah, I like motor bicycles. Ugh, you know, and like video games. I like Call of Duty and Fortnite. They never get to do anything cool like rough up weirdos with their fists. And you know, everybody can be whoever they want to be. You know, it's like, come on. And if girls, you know. If if you're a girl and you like makeup, slay in the good way. That's a good thing. But hey, if you like roughing up weirdos with your fists and you're a girl or a boy or whatever, that's also slay. I guess that one's kind of more in between because you're not doing the full slay. It's, it's good slay. It's, go it's good slay. I'll just say it's good slay still. Oh, I see. You're one of the girls who thinks she's so cool for not being like other girls. Oh my gosh, she's calling her out. I was totally right to class you as a cool and suave wannabe boy. Literally, you want to be a boy. I was like, kind of... I was like, is Jay, like, I don't know, potentially, like, which they want to, like, transition? I don't know. I'm just, you know, throwing that out there. No, that's not it. I don't get it at all, though. All that stuff you're complaining about is super cool. <laughs> Being a girl is the best because you can be super cute and you can manipulate. <laughs> oh my god, you can manipulate clueless losers to do whatever you fucking want. And you can trick people into thinking you're weak and then backstab them later. God, I love manipulating people. The hell? The hell? None of that is appealing. You listed a bunch of character flaws. People love that about me. What are you talking about? You need to try it. Being a true a girly girl, then you'll realize how wrong <laughs> you are. I'll tie you down and force you to wear... <laughs> oh my god! 
force you to wear maid dresses and bunny suits until you change your fucking mind. And just, you know, everybody, everybody's allowed to be however they want to be, you know, regardless of gender or whatever. It's like, you know, if she likes being a tomboy, let her be a tomboy. I just don't like when people are like, oh, that's so lame that you like those things. It's like, come on. Son of a bitch. I have tried the whole girly girl lifestyle, okay? And that was fucking awful. Maybe she was like forced into that role for a while or something. And that's why she hates it so much. Like, maybe she comes from, like, uh, I don't know. I'm just making up. I'm just pulling some shit on my ass. But, like, okay, that sounded really bad. Anyways, I'm just pulling something randomly. Uh, but, uh, like, what if she's from, like, a family that's, like, super rich? It's, like, a long line of, like, supermodels or something like that. So she was, like, trained to be super girly and she just, like, hated it. And that's why she's, like, no, I can't be... I can't be girly like those other girls. I can kind of understand then more why she's like so against being like that. All my life, my annoying mom always, okay, yeah, literally, always made me wear dresses and forced me to act feminine. Like, I hate her. She's all like, Julia, swearing isn't ladylike. Wear makeup every day. Don't cut your hair short. No one will marry you if you look like a guy. Oh, God, I, I, <laughs> I can relate to this one. <laughs> You gotta be a desirable woman. Stop being different. Stay in your box. Oh god, I feel bad growing up in the in the south. Thank you, Kyle Kryzik. I'm not saying I'm down bad, but that doesn't sound <laughs> too bad. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Nice. Nice. Thanks for the dono. Appreciate ya. You know, my brother never had to suffer through this shit. My mom left him alone. That's unfair as hell. I was always so jealous of him. Okay, it's starting to make more sense now. Oh my god, this fucking trauma dump again. Uh, that sounds like the best, though. If your mom showers you with attention and neglects your siblings, isn't that ideal? That means you're the favorite child. Who doesn't want to be the favorite? Oh, uh, I'm so no. jealous. No, it sucks. Total donkey shit. <laughs> <laughs> Text little donkey shit and ass. Okay, it has to be both of them, not just donkey shit or ass. Donkey shit and ass. Oh, I like it. Oh, I understand. Since you're an adult now, you're upset that you don't get attention from your parents anymore. So I'll give you tons of attention to make up for it. It's decided. I'm going to bully you every day, every That's second of every day. Am I in hell? Did I die and go to hell without noticing? Is this my punishment? <laughs> uh, where to start with you? Hey, you're ticklish, aren't you? Hey, you want to be tickled? No, I'm not ticklish. Why are you? Why are you asking? Hey, don't be silly. I tickled your tummy earlier, and you got all weird. <laughs> okay, I do. I do see why people ship them. They are pretty cute together. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like uh, I don't know. I'm getting like very traditional. Traditional vibes from like Jay's family and like mom and stuff too. I wonder how they would react to her like dating a woman. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like honestly, this like tickling thing. It's like you just want to touch and be flirty and be like, I'm just teasing you, girl. You obviously, you obviously like her. You get all weird. You're definitely super ticklish. Come here, I'll tuck you until you laugh so hard that your heart stops. And then I'll defib defibrillate you and tickle you some more. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Get away from me. Don't even try to run. Come here so I can attack your weak points. I know what you are, Aria. Honestly, I chased Jay around for a long time until she ran into her room and locked me out. This is so sad. Actually, I totally could have caught her, seeing as I am, oh, a way better athlete than her. But it's funnier if I let her believe she can win against me. <laughs> Lord. Ah, <laughs> Jay is so fun to play with. And to be honest, she won't admit it, but I can tell she likes me, like, likes me, and I like, like her. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, they're pretty, they're pretty cute together. Uh, I, I, I ship it too. Because the whole time we were talking, she could have left any time, but she stayed and kept chatting with me. A super duper soon soon. Arie went to the Gay Water Hotel. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, man. So I'm going to hang out with Jay some more. I'll bully her further. I'll make sure she never gets to have a break from my teasing for the rest of her life. Oh, man. I gotta say, they're pretty cute together. 
because I didn't really know too much about their like dynamic besides Clover shipping them. And I was like, I don't know. I didn't really like have anything to go off of. I felt like from the canon game, but uh, that was pretty cute. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. That was pretty adorable. I do ship it now. I hope they get more interactions in the uh, like the next few chapters. Oh my gosh, she's she's not dead, is she? Oh, I love Nico. He's so cute. Um. Hey, um, are are you dead? Um, hello? I reached down and gently put my ear to her chest. Oh, she's breathing, and I can hear her heartbeat as well. It sounds healthy, which is good. She must be sleeping. Who is he talking to? It rose. Ah, oh, Rose! <laughs> she just always does that. You should wake up. It's not safe to sleep in the middle of the hall like this, especially in a death game. Come on. <laughs> please, wake up, Rose. Ah! It's like, please, somebody else be nice to Nico. The last person that was nice to him was Xander. And then he literally tried to murder, like, right afterwards. It's like, poor Nico, man. Poor Nico. Should I shake her? Would she be able to, would she be mad at me if I woke her up? No, Rose doesn't get mad. She won't be mad. I carefully put my hands on her shoulder and shake her softly. <laughs> huh? Oh, Rose is so cute. Oh. Ah, you're you're awake. Good morning. So it's noon. You shouldn't sleep in the hallway. It's dangerous. Lots of people walk by here. What if somebody steps on you? It's like, don't you have yeah. a bed to go to and sleep? Ah, oh, you're right. I'll go to my bedroom and nap then. Um. Um. Um, what's wrong? It's not good for humans to sleep throughout the day. I don't think that's healthy. No, I know for a fact it's not healthy. I was like, yeah, Rose Makes does sense. seem to sleep all the time. She's got to, like, sleep to, like, power her, like, genius brain. You know what I mean? Maybe that's that's it because she does have, like, crazy memory and stuff like that. Um, you're probably right. Okay, let's go to the dining hall and grab a snack. She gets up and walks, starts walking off without waiting for a reply. Ah, wait, wait up! I wonder how long it takes him in the morning to style his hair into ears. When I catch up with her at the dining hall, I see that she's seated herself at a table. I pull back a chair two seats away from her and sit down as well. Even though she said she was going to grab a snack, there's no sign of food anywhere on the table. Um... She's staring off into space. Did she notice me sitting down? Oh, thank you. God. <laughs> thank you, Bridget. Man, I'm... Oh, God. I'm Mitch 11, these interactions. God damn it, Bridget. God damn it. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, mods. Be sure to send me some McDonald's fanfics if you found any that you want me to read after the stream. I can finally, I can finally do it. I can finally try it. <laughs> it's like when I was on Wattpad or whatever that website was, uh, last stream for this game. Oh, God. I saw some weird, weird, weird thumbnails for some fan. Fanfics for McDonald's. Who would have thought McDonald's fanfic writers were weirdos? <laughs> she glances my way for a few seconds. Then she resumes, staring off into space. In this way, we sit in silence for a few minutes. Um... Sorry. Sorry, it must be really boring you. Eh? Huh? I mean... I mean, we've been sitting and not talking for hours. It's only been a few minutes, actually. Huh, even then. It's okay, it's really nice, actually. Huh? Oh, that's cute. I'm really bad at talking. Every time I try to talk to people, it's really awkward because I don't know what to say or I say the wrong thing. I was like, I could see that, him being kind of like one of the people that enjoys like, uh, you know, the serenity of like silence, you know what I mean? Oh, God. Thank you. Brew the cookie monster. No worries. Zara and I are making one. Oh, God. Oh, no. You're making one for me? No. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. When I feel okay sitting in silence with you, I'm so scared. I'm so scared what you guys came up with. Ah, I see. That's nice. I'm glad to hear. She goes back to staring at the wall. That's right. If I was doing this with anybody else, the air would turn unbearably awkward, and I'd constantly worry about if I was being off-putting because of the silence. But she's just as much of a weirdo as I am. We can enjoy 
the silence together. But I feel comfortable sitting with Rose. And she seems comfortable too. It's not awkward at all. It feels like we're enjoying each other's presence without needing to exchange words. Like cats do. <laughs> like my pet cat. Oh my goodness, tractor. <laughs> oh, that was such, such a... That's such a fucking cute name for a cat. <laughs> Tractor. Aw, uh, I want to see Artemis cat. That'd be so cute. I could see him having like a black cat maybe. Or like a tuxedo cat. <laughs> I miss Tractor. Uh, I'm sorry to hear. Dude, I swear to God, nothing bad better have happened to Tractor. If Nico gets a video and it's like, you know, their family and friends like getting tortured and shit, if something bad happened to Tractor, I would be so fucking pissed, dude. I would go on the murder spree for him. Um, um. like the farming vehicle? No, my cat Tractor. He purrs really loud. Oh, like a tractor. That's why his name Tractor. He's my best friend. He used to be really mischievous, but now that he's old, he's a lot more relaxed. Oh, now he's old. Damn it. Is he dead? God damn it. I feel like he's dead already, honestly, because like, <sighs> because, you know, like time has passed between them, like their memories and getting into this game. You know what I mean? I miss all the other cats, too. I wonder how they're doing without me. I wonder if they miss me, too. Nico certified cat, cat boy. Bing. Being around you makes me feel better, though, because you remind me of cats. Mm -hmm. uh, huh? How so? You're cute and you're quiet. You're quiet, you don't talk, and you don't talk. And the way we are right now, it's like cats. Cats are okay if they sit with people in the same room, not interacting. Just chill. Simply existing in the same space, not needing to interact, but knowing that the other's presence contributes to the warm feeling of companionship. My cat does that all the time. I just call him a tsundere, though, because he's just like, I don't want attention from you, but I want to stay in the same room as you all the time. A lot of people don't understand this. As long as you're with someone else, they feel like you have, they feel like you have to do something, whether that be talking or doing some activity. It's like that. You're very... Cat-like in your behavior. I mean... Oh, uh, you're kind of like a cat, too. I mean, you literally got, like, the cat ears and the little cat paws. And you, like, trimmed your teeth into fangs. So that's, that's pretty cat-like, too. Did that hurt, by the way? And uh, thank you, Cry Kyle Kryzik. Legit. As you said, Tuxedo Cat. My Tuxedo Cat came. Aw. I love Tuxedo Cats. I love all cats, though. They're so freaking cute, honestly. I'm such a cat person. It's just Look so adorable. This. I was like, no wonder I like Rose. She reminds me of a cat, too. You're skittish, like a shy kitten. You act like a cat in a lot of ways. And also, aren't these tufts of hair on your head kind of like the ears of a cat? <laughs> Don't touch my cat ears. <laughs> she reaches out and absentmindedly pats my hair. <laughs> uh, thank you. She like starts purring. <laughs> oh, gosh. Very soft. That's thank cute. Thank you. It's too scary to go with a hairdresser, so I cut my hair out myself, but I'm really bad at it, so it usually comes out like this. But I'm glad you like it. Oh, okay, so that's how he, uh, mm. it's like he cuts it to where it's like that. Ah, it looks like she's going to fall asleep again. If I don't continue this conversation, she might fall asleep again. Um, 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 are you really okay with being so awkward? She's kind of like a cat in that she falls asleep all the time, too. Huh? Um. That's blunt. Uh, that's that's not what I meant. Wait, what did he um, ask again? Are you really okay with being so? Oh my god. <laughs> huh? What the fuck? Um, that's I, blunt. Uh, that's that's not what I meant. Oh no, I messed up. I said something rude, and now she's gonna hate me. She'll yell at me, and and nah, she's chill. Oh god, he looks so makes looks sense. so bad. Uh, you're right though. I am pretty awkward. Oh right. Rose is really easygoing. I need to stop worrying about upsetting her because she won't get mad. I wonder. I kind of wonder if Nico, like, his parents were really short tempered or something. He does seem very, like, uh. I don't know. I feel like he always feels like he's walking on eggshells around people. Like, he's worried about them exploding from, like, small comments or, like, saying the wrong thing. I feel like I could see that being the case. I need to keep reminding myself so she won't be mad at me. It's okay for me to speak my mind. He definitely seems to have a lot of anxiety about, like, interacting with people. She won't be mad. I mean, you're you're awkward like me, right? I'm a, I'm a really awkward person. 
because it's hard to make conversation. Because you zone out a lot and don't say a lot. People think you're awkward to talk to. <laughs> mm. I guess. Way to roast me, kid. I know that I'm kind of weird. Sometimes I frustrate people when they try to talk to me because I don't pay attention to what they're saying. But I guess I don't really mind. Why? Why? Are you really okay with people getting frustrated with you? Think about it. I'm kind of airheaded, right? To be honest, I don't really notice if people judge me. I guess I end up ignoring it. I like That's Rose. She's so deal. chill. I think I'm... If people think I'm weird, it is what it is. I see. I want to know if you had any advice on how to not worry about people thinking you're awkward. It happens to me all the time. Yeah, they're both like socially awkward, but like in totally opposite ways. Like... Nico's so, like, worried about, like, saying the wrong thing or being judged while, like, Rose is just like, nah. she's like, this is just who I am. If you think I'm weird, then I don't really care. I like people like that, though, you know? It's like, you don't have to worry, like, because I feel like I'm probably a lot more like Nico to where I'm, like, worrying constantly, like, oh, I'm going to say something weird and they're going to think I'm weird or, like, annoying or awkward. But uh, it's nice to be around people like Rose who just, like, don't ever, like, think about that kind of stuff. I kind of feel like, I don't know, her personality reminds me a little bit of my boyfriend's. Because uh, he can be, like, well, sometimes he can be pretty, like, uh, loud and bubbly, too. But he overall can be pretty quiet. And he never, like, worries about, like, being too quiet. Whereas I, like, always worry about that. I don't know. I'm always, like, I need to be talking. I need to be entertaining. I need to be this and that and this and that. Oh, thank you, Bridget. Damn, Nico, asking Rose the question that my family always asked me. But then again, given what I'm doing right now, <laughs> maybe they were right. <laughs> Show them the big chunk of Mitch Donald. They'll be like, yeah, no, yeah, Bridget, I think we were right about that. <laughs> oh, God, that's so funny. Oh, but thank you for the dono. Appreciate you. No, I'm a boyfriend singular, not not plural. Did I, did I, say, did I say plural? You're the only person I can ask advice about. This is because you're the only person who understands what it's like. I can definitely relate to Le Nico a lot, though. I feel like my brain's always turning when I'm, like, interacting with people. If I asked anyone else, they'd give me advice on how to properly carry a conversation. I feel like, I don't know, I think I'm pretty good at pretending to be good at socializing, though. But then my brain is just, like, on fire, <laughs> you know, like, worrying constantly. <laughs> That's not really the kind of advice I'm looking for. It's impossible for me to change the way I am. But... No matter how hard I try, whenever I talk, all my thoughts get jumbled up and I can't properly communicate my feelings. I'm just an awkward person who struggles to talk to others properly. I can't fix that about myself, so that kind of advice doesn't really help. What I really need is advice to not be so afraid of when people end up judging me. Yeah... Yes. But I guess even though you're awkward like I am, you aren't scared of anything. I guess you can't help me that much. Just gotta stop giving a shit, not Nico. Really. Eh, that's not really true. I say that, but then I'm also like super insecure. Eh, what's not true? That I'm not scared of anything. You no. Know. I guess it's true that I'm not scared of social situations. If that's what you're always worried about, then you might end up thinking that I am infallible. But to be honest, I'm really scared of myself. Scared of yourself? Of course. With this memory of mine, I'm scared of the things I know, the things I can't forget, the things I might do. No, Rose, stop being sussy. Uh, that, that is... I understand what she means. We're in a killing game after all. Huh, I guess like using her talents to potentially kill somebody? She definitely does have like, I don't know, such a big advantage on others. Like, I don't want her to be a killer, but God, she would make such a freaking good killer, honestly. Thank you, Taruko. Oh, best girl. Eating some Mitch Donalds right now. It's... <laughs> now, that's some Mitch Donalds I can get behind, baby. It's made out of Mitch. Oh, my God. Slay. We love Mitch Donalds now. We stand. <laughs> oh, even though this whole scenario feels unreal, even though no one has killed yet... Everyone here probably is afraid of themselves and what they might end up doing. Come to think of it, the thought of that is really scary. Because yeah, I just feel like it's just so reliable when it comes to, like, remembering the exact details of, like, how conversations went, how, like, uh scenario went. Because she just has such good memory. Like, 
I don't know, she reminds me of a character like Mikan, where like you relied, like the characters in that game relied so much on her autopsy. It's like, what happens when she's the killer? And she's like, ah, you know, I'm gonna totally give the autopsy wrong to my advantage. You know what I mean? I feel like she could do stuff like that and it would be really, uh, I don't know, very advantageous for her. Thank you, Kyle. Do not be afraid of mastering the art of not giving a frick. I know, man, it's just hard to do. It's like, it's the right advice, but it's just hard to put into practice. Aunt Rose, don't sleep. Ah, uh, snoo snoo. Huh? Yeah? <laughs> okay, I give up. I can't stop you from falling asleep. When we get out of here, please see a doctor because this isn't normal. Oh, dude, an art-themed execution would be so creepy, too. Oh, gosh, that would be cool, though. Let's go to your room. At least if you fall asleep there, it won't be dangerous. <sighs> okay, but please carry me. I'm, like, four feet tall. Um, I don't think I can do that. Just lean on my shoulder. <laughs> um, I escorted her back to her room and made sure she properly locked her door before I left. She is rather careless, after all. Hmm. Um, I guess she is kind of careless, though, in, like, terms of her making a murder plan. I guess I could see her, like, not putting too much thought into some things. Like, I feel like some, like, her talent would be definitely very advantageous, but I could see her, like, kind of glossing over, like, details that would be important that they could catch her on, you know what I mean? I feel like she'd be one of the culprits that, like, she would just have, like, a slip up in the trial, you know what I mean? Like, Celeste or something. Oh, I forgot to thank her before I sent her off. I was going to thank her, thank her for hanging out with me. I really enjoyed her presence. But... I'm sure that even if I don't tell her in words, she'll understand regardless. We just like that. We just vibe like that. Oh, the 58th most popular pairing? Wow. <laughs> That's so crazy. I was like, yeah, I don't think I really remember like uh, seeing that pairing when I was reading out all of them. That's pretty wild. That was cute, though. Yo. Yeah! Yes, 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 yes. We won. We fucking won. We fucking won, you guys. Yes. Oh, God. We did it. We did it. Gals and gays and envies. We fucking did it. We fucking did it. The guys, too. Oh, I'm so excited. And Charles. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so excited. And Charlie, Charlie Brown, and Charo, she, Charoshi. Silence, why do you keep bothering me? Hey, can I have some? Stop talking. Quit speaking in vague terms. What do you want? Oh, thank you, Cater. Wit, hi, hello, falls down the stairs and explodes. I know, I love Wit too. He's so friggin' adorable, dude. Best boy, best boy. Thanks for being a mod and for being a member for seven months. Appreciate ya. Quit speaking in vague terms. What do you want? Jeez. And jeez, for a guy who calls me stupid all the time, you sure are playing real dumb right now. Duh. I want the thing you're making. <laughs> Duh. Coffee, I want some coffee. What else could I be talking about? Absolutely not. This is not for you. Come God. On. <laughs> what does not need more coffee? Honestly. <laughs> He's already so hyper already. Uh, please. I'm super curious because I see you making the stuff all the time. He Calm probably down. does make super fancy ass coffee. I fail to understand why you would be so interested in simple coffee. Do you really have nothing better to do all day than bother me? Taking notes about how annoying you are. Please. Come on, I won't annoy you for an entire day if you share some with me. Here's a cup. Now keep your word and leave. Nice. Mission success. Charles begrudgingly passes a styrofoam cup across the counter for me to pick up. I eagerly sniff the contents. <laughs> Smells like coffee, all right? Yep, it's totally coffee. 100% without a doubt. This is definitely coffee. Uh, yep, it's coffee. I'm sure of it. Why are you being so weird about it? After making sure it isn't burning hot to the touch, I take a small sip. And... Oh, the little blush. So cute. Uh, it was bad. Um... Oh my god, this fucking sucks. So bitter. I know coffee is meant to be bitter, but this is like a bad breakup. Oh my god, did you dump me through this coffee cup? Jesus. Who are we, Kinjo and Yuki? I retract my promise. 
shut up. Of course it is. It's instant coffee. There's no coffee maker in the kitchen, so I'm resigned to put up with the sludge every day. I thought he would have been like, you know, in the lab, like crafting the perfect cup of coffee. You know what I mean? But I guess he's having to use the instant crap. They say the amateur tennis player blames the sun in his eyes, or the amateur chemist blames rotten chemicals. Laugh it up. Buddy. Shut up. First of all, that latter thing is a legitimate issue for concern. And I'd like to see you try and make a decent co decent coffee out of something that has Mono TV's face on the packaging. <laughs> I'll have you know that I can brew fantastic coffee if only I had a coffee maker and quality beans. Huh? Huh? You can actually make good coffee? Oh my god, no way. In fucking possible. Excuse me, what's that supposed to mean? Of course I can. I mean, you totally don't seem like the kind of dude to know his way around the kitchen. You do not give me the male wife vibes at all. I, on the per on the other hand, am the perfect male wife. As you can see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's a no, huh? <laughs> Lame. So, what do you want to say about it? Unremarkable household skills like that aren't important or That's necessary. I I'm more of a girl boss, I'll have you know, okay? That's why I curl my hair long like this. I uh, know, way, dude. Cooking is super important. If you only eat microwave chicken nuggets for every meal, you'll get scurvy, <laughs> scurvy or something. I don't know. <laughs> something like that. We're all gonna end up with serious vitamin D deficiencies eventually, since there's no sun in this place. But that doesn't mean you should skimp out on the A's, B's, or the C's. Or the D is <laughs> I'll stop. So not this conversation again. Again, did somebody else chew him out for not knowing how to cook? And let me guess, it was Tarugo. And that's hilarious. There's nothing there's nothing impressive about cooking. I could learn the basics within an hour if I wanted to. It's simply a matter of me setting aside the necessary time. Except I have better things to do. But you didn't already know the basics, though. That's the issue. Aren't you an adult? Didn't your parents teach you how to do these things? Oh, here comes a trauma dump. No. What parents? They died a long time ago in a chemistry action. Accident or some shit. I don't know. Jeez, your parents are real fucking slackers. It's like they died saving an orphanage that was burning down to the ground. Who they fucking save? Some creepy ass clown dude. Teaching how to cook is like the number one job of parents. That and teaching their kids where babies come from. Um, Charles. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh god. What is ever with everybody talking about Mikado milk in the in the chat? That's like the 20th time I've seen it in the chat. I was like, I was like, I'm just gonna ignore it, but you know, I just keep seeing it, so now I need to know the lore. It's like it's like a pre pre-stream chat thing or something. I was like, what are y'all talking about? I'll I'll wait for an explanation later that we can keep keep going on with this. Charles, you do know what sex is, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. You're annoying me. Do your, did your parents teach you to be this annoying? Um, yeah, they did. Oh, my God. He avoided the question. <laughs> A loser. A fucking virgin loser. Thank you, Bridget. Charles, my parents died saving Mitch. Oh, God. They deserve to die then, honestly. <laughs> They deserve to die, honestly. Let's, you know, I can see, I can see that that's, uh, you know, now I don't really feel that bad for his parents anymore. It seems like it was a pre-stream thing, the Mikado milk thing. <laughs> oh, God. I'm terribly sorry, my parents didn't find it necessary to teach me how to cook, unlike yours. And well, and that's because my parents love me, huh? Oh, wait, what did he say? Just find it necessary to teach me how to cook, unlike yours. Oh, he's actually getting like all sentimental though now. Well, that's huh? Um, I sense a trauma dump. Uh, what are you talking about? Anyway, Cece. Oh, anyway, Cece. Oh, Cece. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Anyway, Cece, it's never too late to start. Since we're stuck in here for who knows how long, there's no better time to pick up new skills. I'm practically a 10 star, I think Michelin chef, so I can teach you. I know how to make the want? best dino nuggies, okay? I don't recall ever asking you, of all people, to help me with anything other than losing my patience. Come on. I'm serious. Since you don't eat the communal meals you, and, can, and you can't cook, I bet you're getting tired of sandwiches and salads all day. Isn't there some food that you really want right now? That's true, I suppose. But I'd like to make pancakes. I can teach you how to make pancakes. They're super easy. The trick is making the batter. And... I said I don't need your help! But I'm gonna make you heart-shaped pancakes. Come on! All of a sudden, Charles yelled at me. It felt like something in the air had snapped. He was genuinely angry. In a way that I didn't know he was capable of being. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like wit's more like what I imagined. I don't know, more like mutual teasing to be like. Like, he kind of like prods at people, but he's not just like straight up mean like Arya. But definitely feels like he's hit, he hit like a sensitive uh, spot. He does seem like he cares when people get actually mad too. I feel like Arya doesn't really seem like she cares that much. She's like, ah, oh, yes, he's riled up. Yes, I reminded him of his childhood trauma. Slay. I'm not stupid, Wit. Not stupid in the way you think I am. Oh no. You claim you're going to help me, but isn't this another excuse for you to ridicule me? Ridicule me as you always do? I don't know if Charles really enjoys the teasing though. Huh? Did you already forget what happened earlier today in the laundry room? Oh, did you already forget what happened earlier today in the laundry room? Oh yeah. He didn't know how to do laundry either and what was making fun of him. Dude, Charles' parents were totally like abusive or like just ignored him or something. I guess that's like abusive in its own way. You were really enjoying yourself turning him into a laughing stop in front of Taruko. Um, he try, you know, went me. He doesn't mean any harm, but I, you know, sometimes people just like they hit like touchy areas, and like uh, I can see how it would be like really upsetting. You don't like being looked down on, do you, Charles? Does anyone about the laundry stuff? At the time, I only wanted to make Taruko smile. I thought if I could make her laugh, I could see her smile. I want other people to be happy, that's all. Yeah, I could see this one being a uh, canon course. to this, at least this uh, free time event. Of course. Of course you do. But only if those people are Taruko or Arie or anyone else. When it comes to me, I'm nothing more than an object of mockery to use to make other people feel better about themselves. Oh man, poor Charles. Is that not it? He does have that trauma or like that issue too. Like uh, whenever he sees like a dead body, he, like flips out. It's like he definitely had to go through some kind of, I don't know, something to make him have like PTSD when it comes to that. You know what I mean? I'm done with this conversation. Enjoy your coffee. No, Wit. Uh, I hope this is canon because I want Wit to apologize and for them to be besties. The coffee cup still in my hands was starting to grow cold. Oh man. I don't think I should drink it. Bitter things should just go down the drain. Ah. Charles was right. I didn't understand him at all and acted without thinking like I always do, but now that I know how he feels, I'll definitely help him in the future. Oh, it's so cute. Hey, Charles. Charles is almost out the door, but he pauses when I call out to him. You're right. It's I'm okay. sorry. If you're upset that I made Taruko smile at your expense, then I'll make up for that by finding some way to see your smile too. Oh, it's so freaking cute! I love them. Best boys! And... You might tell me I'm stupid for saying this, but we're gonna become good friends one day. Maybe more than that. Hopefully more than that. After all, that's what my intuition is telling me. Match make, match make you guys wit. Come on. Charles doesn't respond. There's no indication that he heard me. His back is turned to me. I, I think he really appreciated the apology, though. So I can't see his face, nor what expression he's making. Oh, so freaking cute. Best boy. Um, after a few seconds of silence, he leaves without saying a word. I think he really enjoyed it, though. I really appreciated it. Oh, that was so freaking cute! 
I want to see them interact more in chapter two and three and four and five and six. Dude, if one of them dies, I'm going to be so sad, dude, because I fucking love them so much. Uh, especially together, they just like their chemistry, the way they bounce off of each other. I don't care if it's platonic or romantic. I just think they're so freaking cute together, you know? Just like their dynamic is so fun. The following footage is a clip from chapter two. Maybe missing some voice assets. Okay, yeah, so I guess we can go ahead and watch the uh, preview. Oh, hey, Blaze in the, uh, in the uh, recommended. Shout out to Blaze. They're awesome. But uh, yeah, we can go ahead and watch the... Uh, the preview for chapter two, but yeah, I just love Charles but so much. They're so fucking cute. I know at least one of them is gonna die. Ugh, probably Wit. I don't know. I don't think he seems like a survivor, honestly, which is so sad. But like, he just does not give me survivor vibes. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. The following footage. Here we go. We can go ahead and uh, watch the preview. Oh, their chemistry. <laughs> Wit would appreciate that. That pun. Hmm. Um, oh wait, it seems kind of low quality. Yeah, there we go. Um, oh, okay, Slay, Taruko, oh my god. Oh gosh, I love the new, I love the new outfit. Oh, she looks good. Oh, I fucking love Taruko, dude. Best girl. Um, ah, <laughs> why do you look so hot? Taruko, sorry, you scared me. Um, I kind of feel like I shipped Taruko and Rose together. I don't have any explanation for it whatsoever, though. I wanted to go to the gym, but it's closed for some reason. They're just both very pretty. That's that's my reason for shipping them. I want to go to the gym, but it's closed for some reason. Is Mono TV still cleaning? How long does it take? Funny. <laughs> Funny. Jay tried to get into the gym. Oh. Today too. Said she wanted to get <laughs> for buff and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Gotta get buff for REA. Actually, it was such a convincing reason. I told her no. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Jump scare. I kept the gym closed overnight to make sure everything was super dry. Don't want you slipping and falling into your chemical, into my chemical cleaning bruise. So hard. I mean, I would like it if you slipped and fell and died, but only because one of your classmates is killing you, and <laughs> not because of me. But I guess I should probably open it up now. Click. Yay. Okay, it's unlocked. You can now use the gym again, as usual. Huh? Hmm. I don't know, man. Huh? Everything is gone. What does she mean? I don't know, dude. I feel like the way this is set up is giving me, like, chapter two Danganronpa one vibe. I'm just like... <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just, like, imagining Jihiro over there. It kind of reminds me similarly of it. Oh, God. Tips to stay healthy. Eat <laughs> what? That sign. Tips to stay healthy. Eat a whole stick of butter and give up. Three. What about step three? Cry about it. Huh? Everything's gone. What's gone? Wait. Don't tell me. Um. Huh? How much do you know about that? The fuck? Not really. What the fuck? Spoiler! Come on! No! Unblur it! Damn it! How do I reverse a blur? <laughs> I'm like gonna take this into Premiere Pro later. Like teetering with it, trying to reverse it. Huh. Wanna work out with me? Huh. Hey, you work out? <laughs> of course I do. Oh uh, no. <laughs> I do the thing the sign says where you eat a whole stick of butter and then give up. I take a nap afterwards, so that's my third step. I can do a pull up. Wanna see? Oh. <laughs> oh, That's Jesus. Not a pull -up. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna be really impressed if she actually did a pull up, because pull ups are super hard. I did one yesterday. <laughs> I don't believe you. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I did one yesterday. I did have a stool there where I was able to, like, just be up there already and kind of bend my arms a little bit. We have refeed Steve to be back on chapter one and will work to improve chapter two. Compare to the last chapter, chapter two will contain more voice acting. Uh I guess he Aww. took it to heart, or thinks he owes me, or something. Oh, cute! What was the rest of the line? I guess he took it to heart, or thinks he Oh, is he talking about Charles, too? Ah, so freaking cute. That totally is what he's talking about, because he's being weirdly nice of late. Yes, the bestie arc! Yes! It looks like they have, like, a clothing area, too, or something? Like, a fashion? I guess, like, a shopping store or something or ross dress for less in their uh mansion thing 
he owes me. Or oh, he's something. totally talking about Charles, though. Cute. Animation! Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and scenes. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, was that? Was that Jay? <laughs> Wait, one second. I need to see. I need to slow this down. 30. Oh, man. Okay, maybe too slow. Oh, that is Jay. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> ah, ping pong. Body's been discovered. Please stay tuned for chapter two's full release. Yay, more information in the description. I think, yeah, chapter two is supposed to come out pretty soon. Like, um, I think like next year sometime, like the spring or something. Probably what I'll do is I'll just wait for all the episodes to release and then I'll stream it afterwards. That way I can just kind of like uh, do it all in a row like I did for uh, this chapter slash prologue. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I kind of do enjoy uh, doing that just because I feel like when you, well, I'm, I guess the update like weekly or something anyways, but I think I reacted to like multiple videos per uh, stream anyways. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I really have been enjoying this fan can a lot. I wonder, but yeah, I think I heard from somebody. Okay. Will be finished. Let's see, the entire chapter will be finished and posted early mid 2023, but I can't guarantee you anything. Okay, that's probably where they uh kind of thought it from, got it from, from what I heard. But yeah, um, do the mods, <laughs> do the mods have any McDonald's fanfics they want me to read? Oh no. Oh, cute, Clover. Oh, she sent me some uh new like outfits and stuff too. I can definitely show those. Let's see. Oh no. <laughs> Jeff's talking about Yakuza. I guess we can look at this at least. Uh, different, um, what you call it, outfits and stuff. Um, well, I guess, sorry, is it okay if I show our DMs? I was like, probably. <laughs> um, wait a second. I was like, I don't know exactly. Oh, there we go. I can show you guys through this. Look at that. Aw. Oh my god, she's got like the YouTube uh, play button uh, design there. Always has gloves, mate. Uh, I love Taruka's new outfit. She looks awesome. Not a tank top on, not a tank top on top of a long sleeve. It's a single shirt. Okay, so we got like a little design change too. Then Charles got the rolled up sleeves, maybe rolled up under his lab coat. <laughs> and then the queen herself. Ah, uh, slay Taruka in the good way and the bad way. Whatever you feel like doing, girl. Just slay, slay me, slay Charles. Don't slay Wit though. He's off limits. <laughs> He's off limits. Uh, who looks pretty too? Kind of got like a more traditional looking outfit too. She's so pretty with a little butterfly and stuff. Oh wait, uh, let me pull up the dono really quickly. Uh, oh wow, a couple of donations in a row. Thanks guys. And then let's see. Oh, thank you, Bridget. I know you, uh, uh, Jay, I know you know where the working McDonald's ice cream machine is, Taruko. Tell me where it's, where is the working ice cream machine? It doesn't exist. You know it to be true. It doesn't fucking exist. Oh man, thank you, the Nellius Nomo. Kinjo, Jojo, 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 Sarugi, la, I love. That is your brain, that is your brain on Sarugi Kinjo. Is it, is it a good thing or a bad thing? We don't know. We don't freaking know. Also, yeah, I'm kind of curious. What other uh, fangans would you guys want me to check out? So see whence. Do you know what fangan you'll look at next? I've been kind of, so far, I've been deciding mostly between Redemption Rampa or Rampa and Friends. Just because I know both of those are um, complete. Um, I think I know some people who have seen Redemption Rampa. The only person to know who's really done Rampa and Friends is Blaze. But I know they loved it. So I'm very curious about that. I just, God, I know Donald Duck is just a little piece of shit <laughs> in, that, in that fanfic. I know. Oh, look at Ace. Okay, his hair looks updated too. I like it. I like it, Ace. I'm kind of curious which uh, one you guys would want to see. Oh, yeah, Annabellum. The creator of Annabellum wants me to wait until um, I think like chapter three or four is finished. So I'm going to be waiting a little bit on uh, Annabellum. But, uh, wow, a lot of people want me to play Annabella. Redemption Rampa is so good. Okay, I see a lot of people saying uh, Rampa and Friends, too. I, uh, yeah, I've mostly been kind of deciding between those two. Oh, uh, yeah, Penguin Rampa. Penguin Rampa is pretty far along, but I don't think it's quite done yet, which is why I um, was kind of thinking about maybe playing one of those others, too, since I know they're completed. I do think Rampa and Friends has, like, a, um, whatchamacallit... A sequel that's out right now. I know that one's not completed, but you know, I figure I just wait till that's completed before I uh, tackle it. Ah, uh, yay! The new designs for the other people too. <laughs> the little heart. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> He's like the last person to have who should have a heart of Hoge. Okay, then uh, these guys too. I don't know if they really got too much of an update wardrobe wise. But uh, Pink One Rampa's chapter five. Okay. Oh yeah, Clover is working on Annabellum now. So shout out to Clover too. There's also Danganmon that Blaze covered. I don't know. I guess I could check and see how far it is. I know there's like uh, Danganronpa Mob, which I'm interested in looking at. There's like Blowback. There's like this other one. I'm going to ask my mods about it because it looks like really good. I feel like it's on like chapter three or something, but I think it's like either entirely in like Japanese or Korean and I haven't seen like any translations for it. I'll probably ask Zeph if they've like looked at it or thought about translating it or not. But uh, I just like the main character. She looks like female Makoto or something like that. Oh, Danganmon is finished? Really? Oh, interesting. Okay. Seems like a lot of people uh, I like Danganmon too. Oh, Danganronpa is 69. Oh, yeah, that one looked kind of Mimi. I <laughs> think you would do Redemption Rampa first. I could see that. Yeah, I think my mods might be a little bit more familiar with that. I guess it could make sense to do Redemption Rampa first since Rampa and Friends does have a sequel. That way, like, more of the sequel will be completed by that point. So, like, less time in between them. But, uh, yeah. Been kind of kind of thinking about that. But I was just curious. Oh, Dying Rampa 69 is finished, too? Oh, my God. There's so many finished ones. I guess, uh, I feel like most of the finished ones are, uh, I guess, like, Insta Rampas. I'm glad that, like, uh, I don't know. I'm really glad, like, Insta Rampas became a thing. Because I feel like it's, like, I don't know. It allows people to, like, kind of be creative and create, like, a... Danganronpa fan game, but they don't have to go through all the, like, animation and the voices and all this other stuff that, like, takes so, so much extra time, you know what I mean? Because, uh, I don't know, I just think it's cool they can kind of get their stories out in a little bit of an easier, like, uh, way. Oh, Danganmon also has an unfinished sequel. Okay, cool. I didn't even really, uh, hadn't heard too much about that one. I have heard of Cuphead Rampa. I want to, ah, uh, I want to watch, uh, cartoons and Danganronpa so freaking bad, but I want to wait for the trial for that one, because I think that one's, like, only at, like, the first victim, but I don't know, dude. Just the idea of fucking, like, Cartman and Kyle being in, like, a, uh, in a Danganronpa game is just, like, hysterical to me. I actually do like a lot of, like, American animation shows, like, Gravity Falls, and, uh, I think there was, like, some other stuff. Mostly Gravity Falls. I just freaking love Gravity Falls. But I know some of the characters from that are in there, and I think I saw some other ones, but that one looked really fun to react to as well. But I was like, maybe I should, uh, try to wait till, like, a, um, a trial comes out first. But it looks super good. And yeah, I've heard of an animate Rampa, too. I think, uh, Oh, it's finished as well, if I remember. That one isn't bad. Okay, cool. I um, I saw Blaze playing that one. I didn't know if it was uh, completed or not. There's also like an Insta Rampa where like uh, Kokichi is the protagonist. The art for that one looks really nice. I forgot the name of it. I follow them on Instagram though. It was like, oh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I love Gravity Falls so much. Okay, I don't know if we have any McDonald's fanfics ready, guys. I'm so sorry. This is so tragic. This is so tragic. You guys can follow your complaints to the mods. <laughs> Not to me, because damn, I just really wanted to read some McDonald's fanfics right now, guys. Like, I was just dying to, but alas, I'm not seeing any messages from the mods. So I guess we'll just have to skip that one. Ah, no. This is so awful. Oh, Defiance. I have heard of Defiance, too. Wait, Jeff, is there... I haven't seen, I haven't seen you send me anything, so. So I'll be closing out of the stream in 10, 9, 8, 7. No, I'm just memeing. I mean, I guess I could try to find one that's just like PG or something. Quick, we'd be sing a song or something or distract them all. You guys are still writing it? What the fuck? Okay, they're still writing it, so we can, we can uh, vote and talk about, or we can talk about, uh. Okay, we can talk about more fan games while they write it. Okay. My bad. I didn't realize you guys were still in the process of writing it. Okay, well, as we're getting, like, hyped for the McDonald's fanfic, uh, I guess I could maybe look up what that one um, fan game that I was talking about is, because I don't really see anybody talking about it. Um, what's... I don't even know what it's called. Um, but... I was like, huh. It's kind of weird with these two, because I'm like... Look, this one, 
It's like, uh, you see like the main character, she looks like Makoto or something. It started like six years ago. And so I assumed that it was canceled, honestly. But then I was looking at it and I was like, the update like five months ago. So I was like, is it canceled? Oh, is it like, oh, Danganronpa the After. That's what it's called. I think, I think I might follow their Twitter account or something as well. But, uh, I was kind of curious. I was like, I don't really feel like I see people talk about this one. Whenever I get it recommended to me, I'm like... Oh, this looks amazing. Looks so freaking nice. I was kind of curious if you guys had heard of it or if anybody knows. If there's like translations or things like that. Um, but what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah. When? So making a fangan, by the way, it's nowhere close to coming out. But watching other fans, fangans like this inspires me. Oh, neat. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I really enjoyed some of your analysis pieces, Went. So I'm sure we'll do a good job coming up with a fanfic. I'm definitely going to be interested in uh, seeing what that is. But yeah, I feel like this one looks so good. I never really, I never really see it get talked about though. It's like, cause even if you look at the art, I mean, it looks pretty solid. This was like from six years ago, but um, I feel like it looks really good, honestly. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, Annabella, I know, is a super duper uh, popular one too. Oh, next gen Rampa. I'm following that one. I think on Instagram. Did that one get canceled? I've seen it before. I want translation so bad. I know. I don't know where they are. I'll have to. Maybe Zeph will know, honestly. Dead Humanity, Hate Love, SDR, Next Gen, Defiance, Redemption, Hypotheticals. There's so much more cool ones out there. Yeah, there's a lot. There is a lot. Oh, we be not reading donations. Wait one second. Did I miss it? Oh, wait. Rose Graham. There's a Maki Donald series on YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, I missed your donation. I got too distracted talking about this fan again just because it looks so freaking cool to me. But uh, yeah, I guess we can check that out if you guys want to in the in the meantime. I guess there's always like, I don't know, just some other Danganronpa like memes or things we could look at. I don't know if I've ever watched Maki Donald's. I hope it just doesn't have any, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, oh, wow. There's a lot of, there's a lot of episodes in this. I have an account called Maki Donalds too. Nice. Nice. By Shrek. That's how you know it's it's quality content. <laughs> oh, man. But thank you for the donation. Sorry I didn't read it. I uh, got kind of distracted. Let's see. Oh, Toontown Romp. I think I've heard of uh, that one too, actually, as well. I'm not the only one here who's heard of Fate's Return, have I, or am I? I don't think I've heard of that one. And yet a next-gen Rampa, did that one get canceled? I'm not totally, totally sure. I swear I saw a translation for that somewhere. Y'all have to look around. I think I've seen Dead Humanity before. There's a lot of really cool, like, fangans. A lot of them, unfortunately, do get um, pretty, um, whatchamacallit, they get kind of canceled or whatever, which is sad. But, uh, yeah... I can share my Despair Time fanfic if we're still waiting. Yeah, sure. <laughs> if you want to, <laughs> we can uh, do that. I think, uh, yeah, right now we're just kind of waiting on the McDonald's fanfic. I was like, somebody made like a... <laughs> it's like a really cursed post in the subreddit. They did tag it as an SFW. I don't know if it's really an SFW. So I was like thinking about showing it to you guys. But I was like... Uh... <laughs> It had to do with the McDonald's fanfic thing. I guess it's just more the implication, maybe. I don't know. It's just like they edited them over, like, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, like a Family Guy cutscene. Oh, yeah. Is Rejected Zero still updating, too? Because that was another one I saw a while ago. I think I remember seeing Blaze play it, but I was just, uh, kind of, uh, I think maybe I wasn't covering fangans that much when Blaze was playing it. But that one looked pretty good, too. Okay, I think we got it. We got the McDonald's fanfic, right? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Weebies Mick loving it. Oh, wow. Okay, color-coded lines written by yours truly. So we have Brie, Purple, Dara, Orange. I just know the Webkin's Milk Cat's going to be in those. Jeff Green. There's going to be some Yakuza references somewhere. Somewhere in there during Jeff's parts, I assume. Let me get up the chat again, too. Do, do, do. Do, do. Okay, there we go. Here you go, guys. Oh, yeah, Hush, Whis Hush Whispers, too. I heard about that one as well. Okay, 
It was a day like no other. Weeby was alone in her house, laying on the couch, looking intensely up at the ceiling. Her stomach growled and grumbled as she was deep in thought. You know, I've like literally been craving McDonald's ever since you guys have been like bothering me <laughs> about <laughs> reading this fanfic. Like yesterday I got home from like a party I went to and I was like, damn, I really want some McDonald's right now. Weeby, I'm so hungry, but I don't possibly know where I could go to dine out, she pondered. Then she sat up, starting to look through her phone for any restaurants to satisfy her hunger. She scrolled and scrolled. I already fucking see. I was like, just seeing Kanade's name. I'm like already triggered. Seeing previous. What the fuck? Previous contacts in her list? Hell no. Hell no. That's not in my contacts list. Delete. We're deleting that one. Kanade, Wendy's. Okay, Yuriko. Yuriko's there. Queen, love, slay. In the good way. Grimace. Even, no, also not there. Also not there. Wait, actually, I can edit this document. Yay. Okay, I got some updates for you guys <laughs> to add in, you know, just some creative tips to take out. Weavy. Ah, I forgot I still have them in my contacts. She was internally flipping out, both confused and flustered after seeing, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you guys make it to where people can edit this? bitches in your walls <laughs> the, the mods you guys might want to make it to where other people can't edit it besides me because <laughs> uh because <laughs> uh, i think people in the chat can just enter in and edit it if they want to oh uh, she was literally flipping out both confused and flustered after seeing the blonde man on her phone i can also um uh, let's see here maybe get out the uh get out the the address the link address oh god Okay, her hand shaking, quaking, or how'd it go? Arm sweaty. Oh, it was like arm sweaty, mom spaghetti, something like that. Oh my god, yes, I have to add Kinjo. Oh wait, I had all caps on, my bad. Kinjo! Okay, and Kinjo. Just, you know, some helpful tips for you guys. Her hand shaking, she clicked the call button. Weeby waits nervously, palms sweating, mom spaghetti. Was this a mistake, she thought to herself. But then the tension finally, in oh, God damn. <laughs> finally ended. Yo, this is Mitch. I'm like so totally busy right now. So like, leave me a message and I'll like get back to you. <laughs> you can tell he's like lip biting through the, through the message. Weeby's heart sank when she heard this. She really thought she was about to talk to Mitch. But all she got was a pre-recorded voice message. But then she heard it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We would recognize that iconic music anywhere. McDonald's? Does M Mitch work there? If he does, then maybe, just maybe. Okay, this is not, this is not, this is not, uh, this, is, this is not Weeby. This is Weedy. She's too high. She doesn't know what's going on, guys. She's too high. Oh, I wish it. Just maybe she can meet him there. Weeby. Oh, I wish I had the confidence to go there. She. I can tell this part was written by Dara, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. I was like, I feel like I'm reading those Mitch free time events again. Oh, I wish I had the confidence to go there, she thought to herself. But she worried it would be too awkward meeting Mitch again after all this time. Wendy. Yo, Weeby, what are you up to? Is this... Wait, who the fuck is Wendy? Is the Wendy the Wendy's girl from Wendy's? I don't understand <laughs> something like that oh, wendy wendy was one of weeby's best friends oh my no fucking way is this the chick for my immortal she had long ebony black hair with fuck you guys fuck you guys you're just fucking copying and pasting the description from what was her fucking name it was like ebony darkness dementia dementia ray or something like that with the red tips that reached her mid back and icy blue eyes like limpid limpid tears and a lot of people <laughs> the fucking flashbacks i'm having it's been so long since i've read that godforsaken fanfic she looks like amy lee and i literally just copied and pasted the description from my immortal and if you don't know who she is then get the hell out of here she's not related to gerard way but i wish she was because he's a major freaking hottie <laughs> i fucking hate this shit 
<laughs> she has the pale white skin and is goth, in case you couldn't tell. And she mostly wears mostly black. She loves Hot Topic. And she buys all her clothes from there. For example, today she was wearing a black corset and matching lace around it. <laughs> And a black leather miniskirt, fishnets, and black combat boots. Kind of remember there would spend like, I don't know, do like two fucking paragraphs just describing what she was wearing. She's wearing black lipsticks, white foundation, black. This is clearly not for my immortal script. I repeat, this is not from the my immortal script. Sweats and copy and paste. I recognize it immediately, unfortunately. Hey, Wendy, do you want to go to McDonald's with me? I want to. See Mitch? Yeah, I heard you talking about him. Uh, let's go. Oh my god, so is here. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. And may I take your order? <laughs> can I kill Wendy, honestly? Can I kill her? We don't need her here, right? Uh, can I slay? Do you guys give me the slay pass to kill Wendy? Because I would be very, uh, very, very... <laughs> If I was given the sleigh pass to kill Wendy, I'd be I'd be cool with that. I'd be cool with it. I'll take are you guys what are you guys doing right now? <laughs> Adding to the script. Wendy, I'll take some gothic coke with some blood. Um, I'll have some milk, god damn it, Dara. Milk, yeah, milk. Uh sure, that won't be brought down to your that will be brought down to your table shortly. Weeby and Wendy sat down at their table. I know it's gonna just turn to the fucking Webkin's milk cat thing. Oh my dog, this is so sad. I can't believe we didn't see Mitch. Hey, it's okay, Weebs. We might see him. Oh my god, Weeby, here's your order. Wendy, hey, yuppie, she said, gothly. <laughs> Who is this right now? Which wanted me my cat. His name's Mitch. Okay, Mitch, that's my cat, not Mitch's. Excuse you. <laughs> Excuse you, not the Mikado milk either. <laughs> you guys are too much for me. Okay, this is the green one. I think this one's written by, oh, Jeff. Jesus Christ. We decided to visit her local blat room. <laughs> oh, God. Those of you who watched Corpse Factory, you know. You know the lore of the blat room. It's very, very uh, interesting. Kojiro just finished killing Yuruko. What the fuck? Kojiro says, yeah. What? No, hell no. Fuck you, Kojiro. Okay, okay, okay. I have decided that I, I rank Yuruko above Kojiro on my simp list, okay? Okay? Kojiro says, Saws, Weeby forgave him. No, she didn't. This is weedy yet again. I'm tired. I'm tired. Oh, <laughs> cat block still on. My bad. This is weedy yet again. We got a call from Kinjo, thank God. Kinjo headquarters. She was going to be arrested for the murder of Mitch. Okay, I like this. I like this one so far. Where's the... <laughs> There's like no McDonald's in this one. Oh, wait, no, no, I see the Hamburglar. Okay, good. As long as we're, you know, expanding the McDonald's lore. She's going to get arrested for the murder of Mitch. She heard sirens and then suddenly... <laughs> I fucking knew there was going to be Yakuza in here. Kuryu from the hit game Yakuza kicks the door open. Just like the gifts Jeff posts on the server. Weeby was surprised to see Kuryu and Kojiro in the same room. God, Jeff would be having a heart attack right now. Then suddenly singing from the bathroom stall, Kazooie from the hit series Milkram. <laughs> this is just a way to put all your husband nose into one fic. <laughs> Into one fig, Jeff. Your simp is showing. Singing cat, Weeby, tell us what his song is like. Majima decides to join in gaily. Based from the sewers, also from the hit series, Yakuza, the hit game series, Yakuza. He saw all the buff men gathered in the restroom. It was then that Weeby realized she was at the men's restroom. Too bad the Hamburglar, okay, here we go, the McDonald's lord coming back in, decided to steal her burger, if only Mitch was still alive, to give her the burger. Oh, well, I guess she'll get arrested by Kinjo now. Oh, that's a good end, you know, as long as as long as long Kinjo shows up. Is Fuda here too? I know, it would have been nice. Couldn't you add in Fuda or uh, my best boy, Makoto, who did nothing wrong in his entire life? Then Minako, Breeze. Oh, God, not fucking Minako. <laughs> you guys don't know about Minako. We, uh, there's like this uh, series. It's kind of like uh, Milgram in that it's like uh, music videos that tell a story. It's called uh, Pink Bitch Clubs. So that's what... PBC means she's like <laughs> I'm trying to think of the nicest way to describe her Junko Kenny um 
other character Kenny, but I don't want to say who the character is because I do. Oh my god, yes, Slay. Because <laughs> I don't want to spoil uh, the game. But you, you probably know who I'm talking about. PPC character came into the picture. She was all about girl love, so I guess she'll save Weebly. She's not about girl love at all. She is she's evil, dude. It's fucking evil. She's awful. Now we can go to home to do something special. Put Mitch inside her walls gracefully. <laughs> Make Mitch the corpse girl. Now Weeby can become the new corpse girl. Weeby then had her own black room moment, Slay. She peered into her toilet for whatever reason. There was a burger freshly made by Mitch. This is... This truly... I was like, this truly doesn't make any sense. I feel like these are just like separate stories, honestly. Um, wait. Uh, <laughs> now we become... Wait, well, where was I on? The burger in the toilet. Yes, the burger in the toilet, of course. Mitch was still alive, ready to haunt her another day. Insert Makoto here for Weeby. Yes! Oh, oh my god. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, I love Makoto. Oh, he's such a fucking best boy, dude. Just for those of you who are uncultured, you need to see Makoto. I also spelt Milgr Milgram wrong, but, you know, just don't. Oh, the fucking best boy. I love him so much. Love him so much. Did nothing wrong. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, whoever felt nice. I think that might have been Cater. D's what, sir? Such an iconic line. Kazooie is the best, you know. <laughs> have a Webkin's milk cat, because why not? Dara, sing the milk cat song here. Anyways, Brie Phobia Supremacy. That's another inside joke from the uh, from the server. Do you want some girl love? Too bad. Have some grimace love. You lost a chance with Yuruko. You've got to read the fine print, Weeby. Is that from that song? Show by serving up some combos, you know. It's turning into like a rap. Show by serving up some combos, you know. He's always ready to serve. He's also in the middle of his Milgram phase. Gumshoe is amazing and you'll respect him. Cannot wait for Kuryu to become an attorney. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, buddy. Jingle bells, weeby smells. Bree just laid an egg. The milk cat is here to stay and you will accept him. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what were you guys on when you made this? <laughs> I feel like Jeff just made his paradise with that last part. <laughs> okay, here we go. Also, all right, so basic rules for the mods are writing. We're gonna do at least four to five paragraphs for each of us so that we can all get a bit of our writing in here. After those paragraphs up, it will go in order from how the color code is listed. Brief from the future, reading the above message. This didn't go planned at all. This is beautiful so far. I love it. Are you guys writing notes as to why I'm, <laughs> while I'm reading it? <laughs> what is going on? Oh my God. I was like, I know. this is supposed to be a McDonald's fanfic, but now it's, uh, <laughs> it's like, now it's I don't know what it is Brie not Brie I was just saying that because I saw her writing for a second Jeff's happy place with Yakuza characters and uh Kazui. hi Brie ah, I don't know what to write <laughs> okay the plan is to have Weeby walk into McDonald's <laughs> oh my god oh god good good times guys this was about as chaotic as I expected it to be <laughs> shout out to the mods for making this horrible uh horrible horrible monstrosity it was about it was about as horrible as i expected it to be <laughs> and by horrible i mean amazing oh yeah minako is brie's favorite character just so you guys know shout out shout out to brie no i'm just kidding it would be fun to watch pink bitch club it'd be fun to watch milgram too i'm just like man i'm so nervous about getting like a copyright strike i could probably maybe like watch the videos without the music because, like, every time a new video comes out, like, Fuda or something, I'm like, maybe I can get away with streaming it. But then I'm like, can I? <laughs> Am I going to get a strike and then not be able to post for a week? Be on bad terms with YouTube? Do I want to risk that? I don't know. But thanks, guys, for this amazing, horrible fanfic thing. It was... <clears throat> Interesting, to say the least. I guess if any of you guys want to write some McDonald's fanfics and post it on the Reddit, I can uh, check those out later too. I might just have like a mod, double check it to make sure it's like not NSFW or something before I read on stream. But yeah, there was like one post on the subreddit that was like Charles X Grimace. <laughs> So cursed. So cursed. It was like literally a jump scare when I clicked on it. But um uh yeah if anybody wants to write some charles grimace fanfics or other things we can definitely definitely continue this meme this weird uh meme oh Bree's adding in fuda too nice to cleanse weeby's mind as she wished she saw a random fuda falling down from the sky she had to make a choice um 
Okay, I guess I can... She had to make a choice. The best McDonald's cashier employee, Mitch, who had luscious blonde locks. No, he didn't. That had seven pounds of hair gel on them, or Fuda. Our innocent redheaded bean. I love Fuda, dude. He's such a best boy. I gotta make uh, I gotta make a video analyzing his um, music video. I just have so many music, like, not music. I have so many, like, YouTube video ideas and not, like, enough time. I feel like to get them all out there, you know what I mean? I feel like uh, it's always, like, Kind of like my main issue with YouTube. But uh, thanks, guys, for stopping by. And thank you, big chunk of Mitch Donald. I hope I hope you were satisfied, Bridget. <laughs> I hope you were satisfied with the Mitch working at McDonald's fanfic. <laughs> and thank you, da Dara slash dog. I think I was about to call you Daga. Live, laugh, love, milk cat. No, <laughs> no, no, thank you. No, thank you. Fuck you, whoever's writing this. Is this Cater writing this? This is, oh my god. This is, what has the stream devolved into? <laughs> They're changing it. They're saying I chose Mitch. Fuda. God damn it, I'm still on cap locks. Fuda. Because of this, Fuda, Mitch is like sad or whatever. But once he goes on Twitter, he'll be fine. So true. No, stop it. Stop editing. Stop it. No, stop it. Stop editing. Stop it. Stop it. No, stop it. Stop. Arrange a race against the time. Oh, that said Mia for a second. Oh, I loved Mia. She was so great. <laughs> I love Milk Cat. This is Dara now. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I'm being bullied by the mods. Thanks, guys, for stopping by. There will be a video this week and maybe another stream, depending on um, if a certain something gets released. But uh, I'll see you guys later this week. And um, yeah, if not another... Well, I'll definitely stream next Saturday some more Ace Attorney. And then Sunday, probably another Fangan, probably Redemption Rampa. That way I can have more time for a Rampa and Friends sequel to kind of uh, get made. So there won't be as much of a gap between playing those two. But uh, thanks guys for stopping by the stream and uh, even watching this uh, chaotic Mimi part. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. Bye!